Not the fade-in, though. <laughs> you like that? What's Not going on here? Okay. Uh-huh. Hey, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. hey, oh, yeah. hey, hey, hey. Fuck it up, Andy. Fuck it up, Andy. Hold on, hold on, Fuck it up, Who got the ult? Fuck it up, It sound like an Alex playlist. You know what? It's not even my phone. It sound like an Alex playlist. That was vibe. racist. That was a little racist. <laughs> it might be. Wow. That is my, that's my shit. Auntie? Hey, baby, I just got back from London, okay? They put me on. You know we out there. <laughs> in London. You know in London we out there. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, Many oh, of us, so. Hey. Hey. A lot of Nigerians in London. Hey, auntie. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh. Auntie. Hey. Wow. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. What's oh. going on here? Hey. <laughs> auntie, auntie Mandy. Auntie Alpha. Mandy Hello. is crazy. <laughs> Listen, auntie Mandy is crazy. Auntie yeah. Mandy Alpha. <laughs> yeah, y'all, y'all, y'all know these biracial niggas. They like to take over oh, cultures right. and shit. You know what I'm saying? These biracial niggas like to just come on pods yeah. and take they shit. They be trying to find culture. I ain't never seen a Nigerian vibe oh, with my that's, girl that's Mandy. That's what we're not, that's what we not doing. Time. That's what we're not doing. Colonizing shit. That's what we're not doing. The biracial shit. Colonizing shit, you Oh, my God. Over shit. I love me some good music. No doubt. Okay, okay. Man, definitely. Dude. He says that's how she brushes her teeth in the morning, by the way. Oh, guys. baby. Be like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I ain't gonna lie, the teeth looking all right, too. <laughs> listen, they look beautiful. Oh, listen, look at good. Listen, <laughs> listen. Up there. Nah, looking good. Nah, it was one of them girls that went to Columbia, got that new grill. Thank I know you. that. I know that. Got a bag and fixed my teeth. Shout I, out Cardi B. As you should. I'm glad as you, you should. should. You look amazing. You I, look I don't really trust the techs out here in the States. I'm glad listen, you went over there. There are no teeth techs. I know. Let's just cut it out. No, no. They should not like teeth and tech shouldn't be in the same sentence. The teeth techs are crazy. No, they're literally putting like some bullshit over over people's teeth now. Damn. Well, why would they do that? Baby, everybody listen. Huh? Niggas just don't want to brush their teeth. <laughs> I, was, hey. I, I was fine with the nail techs. Yeah. I'm fine with the lash, lash techs. Tech. I'm fine with all, a tea tech a tea is not tech a tech is cr- no, nigga, yeah. you need to be a dentist. <laughs> <laughs> like go to school for this shit. What about the, for the broke people? There is no certification for teeth. What? What if you got insurance? No, if you don't, if you broke, go to Columbia. <laughs> what if you, the shit was way Jeez. cheaper. Y'all talking for the people with money in their pocket. Nah. What, what if you ain't got insurance? No, 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 no. But, you don't need insurance to go to Columbia. To go to the dentist out here? Oh no, here you That's do. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but, but you, go, you go hit the tech about down the block. Yeah, yeah but let's be very clear. Even insurance <laughs> is it doesn't is, cover is cosmetic not cut procedures. It doesn't, yeah. Thank right, you, Reggie. Right. Come on, this is break what it down I do on the It pod. doesn't cover on, cosmetic procedures. procedures. And getting veneers or a new set of teeth is cosmetic. Yeah. <sighs> Come on. Y'all. The need to know podcast. Well, for some people, it needs to be mandatory. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just a cosmetic thing. Like somebody needs to tell you, nigga, get your shit fit. But no, no teeth touch. We ain't doing that. Mandy, Mandy B is in the building. What up, Mandy? How you doing? It's been Mandy, a long time. how you been? God damn. It's been a minute. It's been a long time. Home court, home court, literally. Yeah. By the way, I want y'all to know I did save on up like uh so I'm in town uh this week. <laughs> there we go. You know how y'all, crazy it is. Where my like, invite though? You, literally. <laughs> but you know how crazy it is to ask for an invite when you own the studio. <laughs> Am I allowed to pull up to my own studio, guys? By the way, I'm like, yo. Can I slide? Like, I, I, I hit the I, chat. I, I, actually, I'm looking at the schedule. It looks like you're good. Because <laughs> I can see the schedule. You'll be on Tuesday. <laughs> hey, I'm free. It's <laughs> funny because when you hit me, I hit the chat. Like, whenever we have somebody come on a pod, we always, like, you know, converse amongst ourselves. Now, so I'm I ain't like, gonna hold you. And he said, let me hit the team first. And I you're felt like, excuse like, me. I don't know. <laughs> like, what? When it I said that, it was, I was just informing them that she's oh, coming. Okay, okay, it okay, wasn't okay. like, hey, like, you guys have no choice. Nah, you yeah, just come yeah, yeah, yeah. with it's, it's good to see you. It's good yeah. to be in the studio no, with good. you. It's been, I, I think we just did the the time lapse. And yeah. It's been about four years. Yeah. Since you last been on Need to Know. But the last time I came on was with my good friend Carla. For sure. Oh, shout out to Carla. So I've never, I don't even think I've ever done the pod you by myself. You didn't do this. This variation. No, this variation, this variation. Of, of, of Need to mm-hmm. Know. Absolutely not. Very not different. No, I know. Very different. Yeah. It's good to have you here, and I can't wait to kind of catch up and talk about some things. Yeah. Um, get, in, get in your business a little bit. Mm-hmm. But wait, y'all was Listen. at the Webby's last night. Facts. Yeah, as, Facts. as, as Facts. winners. It's amazing. As, Congrats. As winners. Congrats. As winners. Yeah. Can't, afford, winners. can't Afford Therapy podcast. Yeah. And what's crazy is even even the, the, the caption that I made today, right? right? Like, Can't Afford Therapy came about literally by this man's brain having just that name. And right. He told it to me, I think maybe even a year before we did anything yeah, with maybe it. Maybe two years. And I was like, nigga, I like that fucking name. <laughs> and so it just happened within like maybe a month. I had all of these separate conversations with Antoinette, with yeah. Josh, with Savon, really wanting to, you know, they all have their own individual uh, lanes in podcasting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Josh had, had a podcast and wanted to get back into it. And I was just like, 
Y'all niggas don't know each other, but we gonna put the three of y'all together. <laughs> That's crazy. Y'all have to talk about so therapy. Because that could, that that, could work or can't work. Especially in podcasts. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. I mean, so yeah. so I loved it. Like Josh, Josh considered it A and Ring. It was it was shot out of here. That's literally um, A and Ring. Yeah, yeah. And, and I was like, yeah. so so it was it was. It was really uh, validating last night, especially because, and you don't know, so we're sitting at a table um, with, with Wondery, Amazon, one of the presenters, like, yeah. you know, we're at the table. Of course, Savon was not with us because he was at the HBO table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. he don't my dick on the table. Because you, know, you, you know you want an award on that yeah, side too now. You know, okay. he, he's yeah, out okay. here. Okay. And so we're sitting at the table and it was, it was really interesting because yeah. Josh is talking about the pod. And he goes to introduce me and it's like, this is the EP. And literally these people who are in very high positions in the podcast industry go, oh, so you're important. And it's crazy because so many people that 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 are aware of podcasts assume that the talent, the person in front mm-hmm. of the mic is the most respected or most sought out of. No. Like <laughs> I also saw one of the heads of iHeart and went up to her and was like, hey, you know, Mandy, oh, Horrible so, Decisions, yeah. uh, Black Effect. She said, oh, my God, mind you, is one of the people involved in me having a, a, a contract over there. And she's like, hey, you're here. And I was like, yeah, I produce the show. And she was like, you produce? Oh, that level of like, wow. respect and, was different. And, and, yeah. and so the yeah. level of respect and, and maybe even the audience doesn't know, mm-hmm. like what Savon does in terms of the the producing and, and managing teams and developing concepts mm-hmm. yeah. and Really seeing everything from idea to launch to, you know, uh, uh, an ongoing series type of thing. It's it's a lot of work. Yeah, for sure. And, a lot and of it, like brain power. It, it, it's a and lot the of subject matter, right? Can't yeah, afford I, therapy. I mean, it's it's huge. They yeah. it, I, and I'll be honest with you. In terms of of how I'm involved there, I put them together. Mm-hmm. I knew what I wanted the pod to to be exactly. about mm-hmm. and sound like. Yeah. That is all them. Right. I am. The checkbook, I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, like I, I, I hey, kind of, I, yeah, I do this. operations. Uh, yeah. Operations, yeah. I handle that, yeah. and I'll step in when I need to yeah, in terms right. of scheduling or figuring things out between the three of them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But because they're all so strong and they are all alphas in their own rights and yeah. in their own individual mm-hmm. things, I didn't feel like I needed to come <clears> in and put my dick on the table with any of them. Yeah. They all know exactly what the fuck to do. Right. I don't have to lead, you know, lead them to water, so to speak. And I think mm-hmm. what we've all just been talking about, which I think anyone listening in business, entrepreneurship, podcasting, the thing that we're all trying to navigate now is monetizing that Facts. show. Right. Mm-hmm. And, I think, and I think getting that webby not like, and here's the thing, we were nominated. We won two. We won two and that's the we thing too. And I wanted to webbies. say, so, oh, it, wasn't so just one. it wasn't just one. Yeah. We were people's choice, but also the Academy voted for us. Yeah. So the Academy, we have an, an official webby, not just people's so people choice. Vote. Like, yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. the Y'all Academy. Y'all should not official. Listen, 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 so uh, uh, specific episodes yeah. were sent in. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. And yeah. the Academy listened through all of them. Analyzed and it. And they Ooh. voted for the best one in the category. Fire. And yeah. so they yeah. um, can afford therapy, submitted their trauma with violence. Yeah, trauma episode. with violence. And it was right. another one. I, I, Damn. I, yeah, it was two episodes. It, yeah. It was two mm-hmm. episodes. And so wow. the Academy voted. <laughs> That's yeah. a big deal. Is the Webby the equivalent of a, a Grammy? In yeah, in the podcast? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a How big, long has the Webby's been going 28 on? 28 years. 20 oh, really? Years. I don't know why I keep thinking it's a new thing. No. no. This is a oh, real this thing. Is, I've been talking about it in like 2017. Yeah. Go ahead. Even before we like continue the Webby's, I do want to introduce the podcast. So anybody who's new to the pod, right? We do got Mandy B. Mandy, get straight to it. We appreciate it. But, she came up with a song, everything. Yeah, she ain't playing. She had the whole script. <laughs> she missed pods. But what's going on, y'all? It's the Needs No Podcast. I go by the name Savon. Yo, what up, y'all? It's your boy A, as always. The Paco Rabone Poppy. Never alone. I'm always with the posse. Hello, guys. It's me, Reggie. And today, I would like to use my time in the intro to introduce our beautiful guest. So, <laughs> <laughs> here at the Needs No Podcast, we would like to welcome... Mandy B, a.k.a. Full Court Pumps. Hey. Amazing name, by the way. A.k.a. that bitch. You're Hello. probably already familiar with her, but just in case you aren't, this beautiful lady sitting to my left gets to the bag and gets it done. Uh-huh. Her supporters appreciate her for always speaking her mind and never being afraid to say what she wants to say. And she's built a very loyal following just by doing that. Yes, you didn't expect this, did you? Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> she's the co-host of Horrible Decisions and most recently Period Sis, which we will get into all of her endeavors. She's the executive producer of Web- Webby award-winning podcast, Can't Afford Therapy, yeah, yeah, yeah. which we just, you know, we talked about. 
She's also the owner of Full Court Studios, which is the beautiful pod home that we are currently in. As y'all can see, she's truly the Jill of all trades, the pod mother of Mandy B. Welcome to the Hello. show. Hello. That was Let's get you. <laughs> yeah. That's what I do for a living or whatever. Though. I'm not going to lie. That was, she be writing. She that be was writing. really good. Thank you. Bitch, I'm going to have to call you instead of paying the $7 a week for chat GBT, girl. Oh, my gosh. Yes, because I'm priceless. Yes. <laughs> Yes, that was. I solid. will do it. I will do I like it. That. Thank we like you. to make you feel welcome. You know, welcome sure. to the show. Thank always, you, thank always. you, thank you, thank you. But yeah, just to go back yeah. to uh, the Webbies. I was the about to say the Grammys, yes. the Webbies. Yeah, the Grammys. <laughs> so I mean, <laughs> nigga feeling good. You know, <laughs> I, I, I <laughs> what it will be. <laughs> nigga feeling good. It's called manifestation. <laughs> you feel me? No, literally. No, you talking shit. These, these talk words got power, nigga. Go on, yeah. But even even last night at the Webbies, right? And honestly, for, for podcasting, it is yeah. almost like the Grammys. Because right. yeah. everybody who wants to be there is there. Again, we had a table at HBO, Wondery, Amazon, iHeart, I, CNN. I, I, I said, like, the, the two twins from Harry Potter were behind me. What? Facts. The like, Weasley. The, the, Rapunzel. Yes. No. No, no, no. Wait, what? Right? I love no. how Alex wants to talk about like, wait, white wait, shit. Wait. <laughs> he just be saying, like, wait, white stuff. I, I said it wrong? Wait, Rapunzel, Rapunzel was not in Harry Potter. What's the shit? That's, Rapunzel. What's the shit? That's a folk tale. <laughs> what, that's a Rapunzel. What's the shit when like, he, Hermione? Maybe when he did the, he did the oh, wand. Expecto right. Patronum. Expect, right, right. All right, fuck it. But not with... <laughs> <laughs> my fault, my fault. Yo, uh, he just blends all white cultures. I know, that's what I'm like, saying. Like, I, I, love, I, that I love it. Me too. Me too. <laughs> he was like, in no. sync? Uh, yeah. I don't know. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> 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 like, all right. Alex like, is fault. crazy. But not everybody yeah. that you wanted to be there in yeah. a podcast mm-hmm. space is literally there. Like, yeah. they honor Shannon Kiki Sharp, Palmer. Kiki Palmer, LeBron right. Cox. Yes. Wow. Kara Sh- uh, Swisher. Yes. Chad. Chad pulled up. Chad Ocho I didn't know he was going to be there. I mean, like, well, he's, he's, he's Shannon Sharp's co host. Right. Yeah, but it was with you. Yeah, yeah for, but they, um, they Nightcap. Won. Nightcap. And they won know. as well. I didn't know. Wow. But normally they tell you who's yeah. going to be there. Like, yeah, I knew yeah. Shannon was going to be there. Shannon, yeah, Sharp. Shannon Sharp. I knew Kiki Palmer was going to be there. Right. But there was like other people. I'm like, what the fuck? Laurel was there. Shout out to Laurel. Shout I know out that's to Laurel. That's, that's the homie. homie. That's the yeah. homie. Yeah. Shout out. For sure. He was a presenter and he presented Gerard Carmichael. Oh, who wow. came out? Yeah, Gerard, like okay. yeah, it was, Gerard, it was, yeah. a, it was really, really a good, it a good really time. Was. And I've been to other award shows, like I, I've, I've done the MTV Movie Awards, BET Awards, and it was great because it was set up like dinner mm-hmm. style. Right. There, there was no fans. It was only who was supposed to be there, which yeah. is why we got so lit because it was yeah. open bar. It was, super it was like a party party. Oh, it, was, it was, it was, mm-hmm. it was an industry like gathering. Mm-hmm. Nineteen forty two shots in this shit. Oh. No, no, no Alize, it wasn't no nah, Alize around. Nah, I was doing no hypnotic. I was doing my dirty martini hello um and then we we had the after party where Savon was you know lovely and i i had a little bit too much to drink <laughs> well mandy like so what yeah. i've learned about working with mandy right is there's a certain sector of people who don't respect nine to fives i don't know if y'all have friends oh, i don't know if y'all oh, yeah, know who no, that, that's me. potters in nine general I feel, oh, I know. potters in general like they're like why can't you guys record like three times a week <laughs> yeah. we're like we have jobs Pages don't respect nine to five no. she come from corporate though that's the thing oh yeah but no now oh even when i was <laughs> in so corporate, oh, well, well, no even oh, when i was God. in yeah. corporate yeah. i was one where okay h&m was across the street from ey <laughs> if i had to buy an outfit because i was going to be out all night i would go and actually i would prefer to sleep at my desk for a few hours yeah and just go to work that way. Like I'm gonna have a good time. I'm gonna have a good time. And it shows. I respect you. And I mean, it yeah. shows. Well, first off, Savon was already pussy and was like, "I'm not going to no after party. I gotta work. I'm coming." <laughs> That's from- not pussy. Nah. That's preparing. That's preparation. He's being responsible. Facts. Yeah, but when you hybrid, I was like, "Nigga, work from home tomorrow." <laughs> oh my yeah, god! Yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 told me what hey, to do with my I job the next day. Hey, hey. I go hold ya. Uh, so many of y'all nah, have nah. it real easy. Hey, and I'm, hey. I'm working from talk, home. Hold on, I'm gonna talk to the night fivers right Get now. Em. I'm gonna talk to y'all real okay. quick because so many of y'all yourself. only gotta go into the office now two max three days a week type shit. And I'm only talking to y'all nine okay. to fivers with the hybrids, okay? Okay. Because okay, okay. y'all that are fully remote, baby, Netflix is on. <laughs> <laughs> we know. So and we know y'all like, naked. Y- yeah. Y'all are only working when the calls are on and yeah. when an email comes through. Otherwise, yeah. there's apps now that. Keep keep it looking yeah, like yeah, you yeah, online. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what y'all doing. I was there. <laughs> But you now, dry snitch. I ain't listen, going front. I don't care. You ain't, you yeah. ain't in corporate no more. Now you want dry snitch. Care. They don't but, respect but, but you. Now, yeah, but bro. now that y'all niggas hybrid, I be like, <laughs> nigga, just don't go into the office tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Work from home. And she was so, I see, so I see dead ass. I see but she don't respect it. Yeah. So the first indicator I knew she didn't respect it, there was a red carpet that happened at 530. Right. I get off of work at 6, 630. Like, oh, shit. Uh-huh. Mandy's like, hey, save my... And, and Mandy has this thing where she can jump into corporate. 
<laughs> oh yeah, real quick. She can really like real quick. The, the camera come out. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> oh, that's what come out. I really like you that. That's what her white side I, pop I, out. I, I like corporate. The Karen analogy. No. Karen don't be coming out. No. Karen never come out of you. No. You gonna sit here and say this to <laughs> me? Yeah. Karen, I wish I was a fly in the room. <laughs> what? Karen? <laughs> you don't think? No. No, but being corporate and being Karen is two different things. Thank though. you. That's okay. where I'm like. All right. Corporate Karen. I respect, oh my Karen, God. I work in corporate. <laughs> corporate Karen. That's crazy. But she sent me this long ass message like, yeah. hey, Savon, I really need you to be at this red carpet event at 5 30, man. It's a great representation of the podcast and who I am. And I'm like, Mandy, Nigga. I love you, but I ain't going to be there at 5 30. <laughs> so then she left me on red. I'm like, all right, cool, whatever. Oh so my then, God. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me on red. I heard you. You pissing me off. I get inside the hall, whatever, cool. Now, mind you, I have two of my families there. I got my HBO family right. and I got my Can't Afford Therapy family. Yeah. I feel torn. I got to be able to entertain both. I got to see both. Cool. So I, I go inside and I'm trying to locate my HBO folks. I get a call from my can't afford therapy people at the same time. Hey, nigga, we at the oh, carpet. Oh, man. Where you at? <laughs> what, what? Well, no. And then he was inside. Mind you, he said, oh, I'm coming out. Do you know we waited there for 10 minutes? And then I called. I said, yo, where you at? Yeah, they not going to let me out. So you wasn't going to call and tell me that they not letting <laughs> oh, you yeah, back nah, out? Nah, I was just going to oh, let you figure that thing See out. what I mean? <laughs> It's just stressful. I mean? it's, it's a lot of similarities, though, right? Because you guys had to submit the podcast, right? Mm -hmm. Sort of like how people that make music would have to submit their music to the board, it, right? It, it, it's absolutely the same way. Yeah. And, what, and what's crazy, too, is about all these award shows, like, they cost. They cost not only to submit. Uh, we we got to pay for our statues to have our names on it. And where I, I, nah, was, I, I was told Grammys... Um, of course, you get the one, yeah. and normally the artists may get that, but of mm -hmm. course, the songwriters, the producers, everybody kind of wants their Grammy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Those are thousands of dollars, but for our Webby, I mean, it's still almost $600 just for yeah. us to have a, a statue. Mm -hmm. And and they sell those tables. Again, I was saying there weren't fans. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was at Cipriani, Wall Street, baby. Hello. They fed us, open bar. So mm -hmm. even, the, even the tickets, we got one voucher. There's four. It's it's three hosts and me as the EP. Yeah. Those tickets were, um, close to a thousand dollars a piece. Wow. Yeah. One table was show? about ten thousand. Well, one table was ten thousand dollars. Just for a table. What the was fuck? Ten thousand. Yeah. That's what my HBO <laughs> nigga said too. Yeah. Even HBO said, "Nigga, what the, the fuck, fuck? Yeah. going on yeah. in here?" Yeah. 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 So you know, it's yeah. definitely yeah. expenses. It, but it is something I think if you're a creator, yeah. it does spark something in you. Mm -hmm. oh, it going is. there yeah. it, it definitely says like oh shit there's more peers. levels yeah. um, and you can see how serious they're taking podcasting so one of my managers at HBO he's been doing this for a really long time he said before they used to focus on marketing he said podcast was just like a sector in the show because the Webby's is not a podcast and award I was gonna no. say Webby's that oh, is like yeah. an industry wide yeah. event it's oh, so yeah. it's, you it's, it's documentaries, TV, Got all you. that. It's not seemed night, like it's most, mostly it was podcasts. All, all podcasts predicated on podcasts. Podcast. Even wow. even the people that they allowed to come up and accept their awards and do their speeches, all podcasts. Everything. Damn. So for me, again, and, and, and this is why me and Mandy like real close friends, because we're really cerebral with the yeah. podcast business. Yeah. Yeah. Not you just are, hosting. Yeah. Like yeah. she's not just a host. No. She's not just a producer. <laughs> Far like, more than that. She's an EP. She, no, no, no. no, no, no. I, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a pod nerd. Yeah, so yeah, like yeah. I call him Facts. with industry shit. Like <laughs> we'll be on the phone. Like I, I wake up every morning. Uh -huh. Y'all might read your Twitters, your tweets and the New York Times and watch the news. I go to pod news. Yeah. So that's I'm fire. I literally oh my I'll fire. send him things mm -hmm. about the industry as you changes and stuff like that. And then that. he like, sends that shit yeah. to our group chat. <laughs> 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 I was saying, oh, not right now, please, not right now. That's fine. So like, yeah. I mean, this is what I was able to leave my career to do. Like I was mm -hmm. in, an accountant. Now I I literally live, breathe, eat potting, but it's my livelihood. Mm -hmm. So to me, like I have to keep my finger on the pulse and see what's there, but knowing all elements of it as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's important. You're very you're accustomed to being on the mic. Now that you don't, you're not you're not a part of a podcast anymore that talks music, pop culture every week. No, so how has that been for you? So you know what's crazy yeah. about you even just saying that? Yeah, that's what I guess. That that's why this was really exciting because mm -hmm. for this portion of it, I'm not on the mic, and that's the thing. What I realized within even everyone who watches, even the execs for the deals and stuff that I do have, I'm still viewed as just talent. Mm -hmm. Niggas right. don't realize like not only did I create horrible decisions, see the thing is, period, sis. I book all the, the guests. I hire my team. We go through and pick clips and edits. And I, I, like, I've conceptualized what the segments are. I literally developed, created, host, 
DP, like everything. DP, and you know, I hey. I mean, and, 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 and man, so, and, but, sure. but it's crazy because when you're on the mic, you don't get the credit mm. as being someone who does all of those things. Right. Yeah. And people think that we have all these producers and people that Hell me no. and Weezy mm. book all of our own guests for. Horrible decisions. Right. We just brought on mm-hmm. Edin because he lost a job. So I said, nigga, you got some free time. Come over <laughs> here. Oh my God. 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 I love you. I love you. Edin knows I love him. I'm keeping him working. <laughs> but, nigga, you want to join me? And he does great work. Yeah, I'm like, he nigga, does, you want to join me in OKC yeah. next month? Shit, I ain't going to lie. If she ain't pick him up, I would have had to send him a tweet with that nigga. Hey, yo, bro. Listen. We love him. We love him. And so, where you could build a team around you to help make and elevate your content, like, Nah, it's everything. Like, yeah, it's yeah. just, of course, everyone doesn't see that. They just see, oh, you can get on a mic and talk. Nah, nigga, I'm running this shit. So there's not a preference or anything? Um, that's a great I question. like all of it. I like all, all of it. All the same? I mean, to me, I think last night, that's what I'm saying. Seeing the respect that you get for developing, creating, managing, yeah. and all the behind the scenes, mm. that's actually where the respect is. It's kind of where the consistency in terms of the bag is. Yeah. Because... As mm-hmm. talent, you you hoping on ads, you hoping on deals. Praying. Maybe you can tour. And that was an amazing uh conversation that I had last night at the table. Mm-hmm. She was like the, the 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 lady that I was talking to was really impressed at damn, you found out how to make a podcast profitable. Because yeah. let's be very clear. For a lot of people who have podcasts or who just have businesses, you have you have expenses. Mm. Yep. It's expensive to do clips and Tell video me. and BTS photos and graphics. Have you, yeah. and, you know, and so it takes it takes money to make money, mm-hmm. and then when you make money, you still got to spend money. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So and as talent, like you eat last. A lot of people don't realize. Bro. Oh no, you are the it's last okay. person when to I eat. Dro- when <laughs> I dropped my bro. receipts video, they didn't understand either. Yeah. Like nigga, no, I. I don't want to keep hiring people because yeah. that's going to take, Bro. so it's less money I see at the end. As mm-hmm. talent, mm-hmm. you eat last. Yeah. Everyone else is on salary yeah. or going to get their money. You eat last mm-hmm. as talent, and that's a great thing. I don't think, mm-hmm. a, unless you're hired on as just talent, mm-hmm. when you own something and you're in front of the mic and you're building it up, mm-hmm. yeah, you eat fucking last. Eat last. Like, nigga, your Sound videographer or engineer may make more money in a year than you. Way it's, more. Yeah. You know what I mean? Easily. Yeah. And, 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 and to a degree, that. it's almost happily, too. Yeah, Almost sure. happily. Like, Especially when you're happy with the product. Like, again, we, you talk about our operation here. Like, shout out to Kieran. Yes. Like, that's the guy Kieran. right there. I would gladly... That's a you. <laughs> you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. I love, it. I love so, it. It's funny. So last year, when we was looking for Kieran, I called Mandy. So right. me and Mandy, like, again, we trade ideas. We uh, trade we, concept, we share resources. Teams. Teams. We like all types of things. Oh, it's geeky. I love this. Yeah, it's it's geeky. Super nerdy, The way right? we was yeah. looking for clip editors for about for months. For months. Months. <laughs> months. I was right. like, I got yeah. this guy. <laughs> well, I got one too. <laughs> so one of the things that Mandy and I do is like we exchange those ideas. And last year, I yep. remember complaining to Mandy, like, yo, Mandy, I'm still uploading my pod. I can't do it. I'm an-. Mandy told me like six months ago that she was still uploading her podcast. Well, we were still. What? Well, so with with Black Effect, we're not uploading the audio, mm-hmm. but literally up pod, until though. bringing. Oh, the other, uh, bo- well, well, I, well, I have May, I have May on it, but up until I would say bringing Edin on, mm-hmm. Weezy and I were still doing our our own episode titles, our descriptions, yeah. um, kind of like hoping we could remember, like what we were doing is when we got done, we're like, this should be the clip. This should be the clip, like producing in real Which time, but hard. doing it. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. It was, it was it's not, exhausting. It, yeah. it, very much exhausting, especially when yeah. you bulk record. Like sure. I was just saying, we're recorded mm-hmm. through fucking the first week of July. Yeah. We have the next seven, eight episodes already ready. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, there was just like an element of being really happy to be able to hire people, especially black and brown individuals and right. and making sure that people that this is their passion, they're making money, they're not getting fucked over right. and just yeah, but like you said, it's like it's nigga, tough. you're doing what still? But you still have people that you could delegate things to, right? Like I know you would Oh up, yeah, no, upload. no, no. Well, well no, right. for the la- for the last yeah. few years, let's be very clear. Oh, I'm right. gonna hire. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I will build a team. Like the more time I can right. have for myself, especially as someone creating, I mean, that's the other thing too though. Yeah. You can hire people, 
but then you have to manage them. Mm -hmm. And yeah. managing and still creating a, 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 mm -hmm. a process or a workflow, workflow. of a for a that's team of word. people, yeah. workflow. workflow. <laughs> so you still have to create a process. Yeah. And so that's the other part that, yeah, you can hire people, but now how are all these people communicating? What's the funnel? Yeah. And so you're building the fucking flow work chart. I'm mm -hmm. building Excel sheets. Like yeah. the, I, I'm still running this like a, like a business, right. like a corporate thing. We have taxes. We have all these things that we have to consider. Mm -hmm. So yeah. And also delegating itself is a crazy <sighs> like skill because if you don't have the skill of delegating, that's, that's even harder. Yeah. Yeah. It makes everything even no, harder. No, delegating is not hard. Yeah. And then people confuse some people, it. Some people are bad at delegating well, and, though. And, and some people confuse it with control. Nah, nigga, niggas got to know what to do. Yeah. 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 You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Some like, people can't do that. Well, and, and let's be very clear too. This is not a bad thing. I know y'all hate words and what they mean. Like <laughs> y'all hate hated words. the word mediocre, but to be very clear, a lot of people actually need to be and, and, and this isn't coming from someone who likes to do it because I fucking hate it. Right. But a lot of people will only do what the fuck they're told. Yeah. Yep. So you have to micromanage actually more than, uh, trust me, no one wants to micromanage at a manager level. Yeah. However, yeah. a lot of people don't, will only do what they're told to do. Mm. And so <laughs> they, you know, initially like they're not like self-starters. No. Yeah, yeah. And that's what you realize too. Like at the end of the day, not everyone is a business owner. Not everyone's a leader. Not everyone's a manager, which is why so many people, a lot of our aunts, uncles, moms mm -hmm. and dads have been at the same position in their career for yeah. years because they're comfortable with just that. And they don't want more responsibility. Mm -hmm. With management comes more responsibility mm -hmm. and a fucking headache. And it's tough, right? Because micromanaging is in a way... <laughs> Like you're still taking on some of the duties now, right? Because you're still continuing to delegate. You don't get tired off of that no, shit, though. So, so that's the I problem I realized. Yeah. Sometimes, in the time that it takes me to tell you what to do, I could have done it, bro. So, and so, oh, so I just still find myself doing shit. Got you. But I think that that's also something I realized with with talking uh, with my last team. It makes people feel like. Um, mm -hmm. It, what is it disposable or yeah. you know because like they know equipped. I can do everything they're, they're not equipped. and so I don't need you and so anytime you work somewhere you don't want to feel like that's the case you want to feel like you're a valued asset or that you're needed yeah. but you know I... but it's tough when you're proven to be successful and you know how to pretty much do everything because as a podcast you have to do everything you from marketing to. to like you said budgeting to talent to producing like you literally have to do everything clip Bro. editing audio editing audio uploading you got to understand the software like there's so many different components you got to stand understand like the the technology yep. the equipment every aspect of being a podcast or just so like you how you want how to, it yeah, yeah. It's the right. like me and Mandy have gone so deep as oh, to how to so manipulate like the charts. These yeah. freaking powders. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, yeah. You don't know, you know understand. <laughs> Our calls be real geeky. Yeah. Be Pussy like, drives. <laughs> no <laughs> girls around. <laughs> what? No girls around. Turn. Right. Scare the hoes. <laughs> Scare the hoes. Oh, terminology. Oh, hoes go. There we go. For sure. But, but it's no, important. I, I mean, it's important to me. If you're going to be in an industry, yep. I think it's important to know what's going on to educate yourself to to grow with it yeah. uh you know i mean learning ai and all the advancements mm -hmm. that it can help you and I, yeah i just think it's really really important no it is especially when you don't want to put too much on yourself and then you get to a place where you're like burnt out and now you're like damn it man i'm over here delegating burnt mm -hmm. out and still mm -hmm. not getting what i want at the end of the day do you feel like you've seen that throughout all your pods uh, over the years or is it just something like um, I mean, it, it's not even that. I, I just talked to my therapist. Uh, hmm. I, I, I burn out twice a year at the same time every year. Really? Yeah. When is it? Uh, yeah. So March, April. And springtime. Springtime. Okay. And you October, very, November. You had a very hectic March, April this year. I did. <laughs> I, and did. Starting to make sense. And did. <laughs> okay. And did. Well, that's the thing. I, I, I try to take December off. Yeah. So gotcha. Gotcha. because maybe there's a guilt in taking time off, mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. start my year off always really hectic to where I burn out by April. And then <laughs> for October, November, it makes sense because I'm getting everything done so I can take this time off in December. Yeah. So I'm, oh, I'm okay. bulking and making sure. Mm -hmm. And literally we sat and from 2020 to 2024, I was, I had a, oh. a, a, a trend and I was like, oh yeah. So now like in therapy, it's like, what can we, maybe you should take a break this summer because what's the trend to keep you from, mm -hmm. you know, burning out again, burning out in October, yeah. November. Right. Yeah. Right. I think yeah. it's balance and like, I'm a very like slow and steady wins the race type of person. So like when you jump in head first in the beginning of the year, I feel like I've stopped doing that because I know it could get overwhelming and I know the burnout is coming. 
So you want to keep some of that stamina in you is what you're saying. Yeah, mm. I think That's that would help. It's funny because her dynamic, like me and Mandy, yeah. we <laughs> high intensity. Yeah. Yes, I was saying? so excited so, for this because we're such opposites. Yeah, I really yeah, love yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, because before we were talking off camera, and she was, we said something, and I was like, you know, peace, and she's like, fuck peace, and I was like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that is not me. So I I'm excited peace. for this conversation. You want peace? No, no, no. I, 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 I want peace. Yeah. <laughs> No, I you do. don't. I want peace. No, no, no. no. Like, you trying peace. to convince yourself. No, no, no. You no, believe no. it? Or no, no, I want peace. No, I do yeah. want peace. Like, that's why I don't be. You want to know how I know you don't that's want peace? No, that's you want to know how I know? Why? Because you still argue with your therapist. No, 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 no. <laughs> I don't start arguing with my therapist, but I'm logic. And you're not going to waste my time. Wait, so they're not logical? <laughs> no, they are. Okay. No, my therapist is very logical. Yeah, but, yeah. like, bitch, I pay you a lot. You've known me for three years. Bitch, I pay you a lot. Don't try to, like, like what what are we talking about here? Like, I actually want to find a solution. Right. So let's not. I, I don't like the fluff of therapy. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't need to hear. I, I don't need to hear quotes from the mm -hmm. the the four like the forty eight laws of power. Like or just the, give it to me straight. Or the yeah. what is it the the four agree the four agreements. The four agreements. Or, for like, all like, that bullshit. You know, I, like I don't Child. need the being bigger person. <laughs> yeah. Like no, bitch. <laughs> but 50, like, fifty cent, he operates by the forty eight laws of power. Now he got fifty laws. No, nah. he got fifty. He wrote a book. You and fifty, y'all yeah, similar. No, no, I, it, in a way, I mean, and pettiness. I, I, so, <laughs> and, and so that 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 was recent. I did talk about to my therapist about my pettiness because where y'all may misinterpret me as a bully, um, I'm far from that. Um, where did they get that from? I don't know. Why would they think that? I don't know. I mean, I mean, I, I, and to be fair, I can I can dive into the hole onto where I really think it leans just heavily into misogyny mm. because when men act on it, we see it. The male podcasters, the Fifty Cent, mm -hmm. the oh, it's wonderful to be petty. The Drakes, the Kendricks, oh, be petty. But when a woman does it, now I'm a fucking bully. Nah, nigga, fuck out of here. They see it as like when women have that same energy, they see it as like catty, like automatically. No, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, so yeah. It's, it's different when a woman does it, and it's just like, nah, fuck out of here. Like I'm, I'm, I'm a human being. First off, pettiness. Makes you feel a little tingle sometimes. Make <laughs> <laughs> a pussy tingle is good. Oh oh so, right? I, so, I love it. I mean, being petty is like you is there, know. Is there a marriage between happiness and pettiness? Well, because you just told me you want peace. Pettiness so, makes so, a pussy so, tingle. I mean, so that's the thing too. My therapist, yeah. because when I want to be petty, my mind goes to and and maybe I look too much up to 50 like by <laughs> like by by the front wall he's my shit. idol like like let's be very clear yeah. the level of petty that you can be when you have money it's crazy right so yeah i was thinking of spending some money to be petty mm -hmm. and um i love this and and when i started talking about just all the ideas of my petty to my therapist she was like okay but say you do that how would how do you think you'll feel? Mm -hmm. and, and we got into my feelings, which shout out to Can't Afford Therapy with the feelings will. Mm, right. I was just introduced to the feelings will recently. And it was it was very temporary, right? In the feeling that I would have. But also, I'm spending money. Um, the, the, I do. I don't really believe in karma, but I believe the energy that you put out. Can, so she's, Some sort of so, retribution. Yeah, so there was yeah. like these things where I had to think like, damn, I wouldn't want someone to do that to me. So I'm trying to think. And um, yeah, th then we ended up with, okay, it just has to be the right petty. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, there's a right petty? The, oh, there's a right mm -hmm. petty. So, there's, a, there's a type of petty where right. like I support where you're standing up for yourself that I fully support. Yeah. Oh no, that's not petty at all. That's defending. Oh my God. I'm, sorry, I'm, bad, I'm bad at this petty thing. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. We're terrible. I hate being petty. Like I'm not like oh a petty person. So wait, what's, what's, the, the, what's the right petty? Is this something that the therapist She's told like, you? Not not or is it like no, Mandy Brain? Nah, it's Mandy Brain. Oh, it's God, it's 50 it. Brain, Mandy Brain. <laughs> like, it's to me, what, what makes me smile to see whatever, <laughs> whatever chaos I may have caused in someone's life. Um, it's the, how well do I sleep at night? And it didn't cost me nothing. And bitch, I, it, 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 it hit the It effect, hit the spot. It yeah. hit the spot. Give me an example of a right petty. Nah, I ain't gonna shit at you. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, I, mean, I just did that. I mean, there's, yeah. a, there's a penny that I just did, and I was told, like, damn, that was kind of fucked up. Nope. I don't, it don't make me See, feel away. You don't like, regret it? The, the no, be, is, no, because also, let's be very clear. I will, 
If you listen to three years of See The Thing Is, mm-hmm. if you've listened to the last almost eight years of Horrible Decisions, yeah. I actually don't, I don't go out of my way to attack people. I don't go out of my way to have beef. Y'all know, mm-hmm. in right. terms of even peers, I'm cool with you are. damn near everybody. Yeah. I don't, I don't fuck people's boyfriends. I don't do like no shady None shit. shit. No mm-hmm. money shady shit. Mm-hmm. No, I don't gatekeep. So I'm not a bad person. Mm-hmm. However, once you go low with me, I take it to hell. Take it to like, the flow. I take it to hell. Take it to the like, flow. and I've said it all the time. Y'all know if y'all are under my comments yeah. and you talking some bullshit. Can't wait to go. Let me scroll, see your ugly ass kids. I'm gonna talk about them. Don't you have <laughs> all right? Oh, Mandy? Hold on. Mandy and uh, save all our uh, souls. Oh, Don't you have RIP anybody in your bio? Yes. Literally yes. does yes. this. I love you. Mandy. <laughs> That's why you my nigga. Yes. So once you go low with me and you talking shit about me, baby, nothing off limits. That's why I'm like with this beef shit. But what is on to the flow? But, but wait, Take but wait. it to hell. We go to hell. hell. <laughs> we just all like niggas was like, I don't yeah, like this. yeah, I don't Ken, like this. Ken, Ken Drake went too far. Ah, ah, ah. Like, nah, nigga, once, once Drake went, took it, once anybody take it to where, bet you don't like me. Yeah. And I don't like you. Fuck out of here. Let's, Let's do it then. But, Let's but, do it then. But, but what if all they wanted was a response out of you? And now and you now gave you, it to you them. You satisfied them. Oh, I ain't gonna hold you. Yeah. You got it. Hope it made your day. I'm done. Yeah. Like, you know, I like the answer, Alex. Alex. You know I like what I mean? Like, 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 especially yeah. for like the niggas online. Yeah, yeah. It's like, a one and done. Like, yeah, it's a one and like, done. And it's, no, that's not true. It's bro, never a one and done. Bro, why are you trying done. to come at me when you taking a two handed selfie? <laughs> yeah. very specific. Like, what are we doing? I am going to flame you every time I see you in my comments. Everyone has a platform now with social media. That's what I'm realizing, right? Okay. So for those of us that have maybe more established platforms, a lot more people are going to comment on our shit, right? Because we don't know everybody's yeah, Twitter that has sure. something to say. We don't know everybody's Instagram that yeah, has somebody yeah, yeah. to say. So these days, I truly do try to take it in as this is this person trying to reach the world on whatever they're trying to say, mm-hmm. even whether it be on my post. So like, yo, if I make you more popping on my post, nigga, like, nah, nigga. Nah, you know what I told him? You know what I told him? Would you know what I told a nigga one time? I said, yo, next time, post this up on, on your page so your people could feel you. Mm. <laughs> Leave it out of it. Leave us out of it. It wasn't disrespectful, but it made him think like, wow, man, I I did want to respond. I love the voice that we (laughs) have. (laughs) Fucking bozos. Y'all niggas sound like dudes. Wow, Wow, man. (laughs) What what did I say? Pip squeak? (laughs) Lift pip squeak pipe down. (laughs) Pip squeak pipe down. Alex and Reggie like to make people think when they diss them. Yeah. Alex oh, yeah, wants you no. to yeah. reflect. I want you to just I'm, feel bad I'm about you. I'm going to throw a tundra at you. Like, I want you to really, like, I don't want you to reflect in a way that's going to make you better. And like, that's the thing. You do it listen. in a respectful way. Nah. Like, I want you to look at yourself and, but, like, hate yourself. But if it makes because, them. Because, because why yeah. are you taking the time out of your day to yeah. be a keyboard warrior? But if it makes them better, or, but if it makes them better, right, maybe they won't repeat the same offense. You think I want to make these offense. niggas better? I'm from old pussy ass hoe. Oh, Fuck shit. Like, I'm getting at them, like, a word. So you coming to me like this? All right, bet. Yeah. And nigga, fine. We gonna roast each other then. Talk, t- tell them about Florida real quick. Nah, I'll... nah, because y'all know. Yeah. Listen, yeah. He, here's the thing. For anybody <laughs> who questions my my uh, existence on the internet and how people may perceive me, uh, a bitch is from Florida and I lived eight years in the Bronx. So if Ooh. you talk about the two that's craziest places. That's a fuck. <laughs> nah, like, you might be the craziest the bro- nigga I know. That's why I am the way that I am. Is, like, <laughs> if you want to know, I'm, I'm, I'm a product of my environment. <laughs> oh, you like, crazy, crazy. What you, what you want to know? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. What did, what did, what did what you What you want to know? And then literally spent a uh, uh, one year stint high school wise in Atlanta. So I got Atlanta ties, wow. Florida ties, yeah, yeah, and yeah. fucking Bronx. And a lot of people don't know this about you. That'd be the yeah, thing about yeah. the internet, so it's right? Like, what y'all, like and, and, and again, back to, I think, mm-hmm. just misogyny too. Like the mm-hmm. way women are viewed, we, we see what people are, have, have been saying about, I mean, Amanda Seals, Angela yeah. Rye, mm-hmm. I, any woman with a voice. I mean, some of them I, be I, tweaking though. They, they do. Amanda Seals they be do. tweaking. I mean, Candace always be lie. tweaking. Some, some of them uh, be tweaking. I get it. But to me, Anytime that I see the comments of people mm. that actually hate anything I have to say, yeah, yeah. it's that I'm a woman, I'll never be married. That's, oh my God, who would date her? Oh my God, she's she's a seven yeah. at best. Like it immediately goes to attack me <laughs> as my your woman yeah, yeah, my, yeah, my yeah. womanness. Yeah. So so when those kind of things, so we actually had a conversation, right? And we were talking about polarizing figures. Right. Okay. Is that a barometer for success? Because yeah. you kind of almost have to take the good with the bad have when you're to. in this. Like, you give your opinion for a living. Yeah. Like, obviously, being an EP is great. 
And that's what you want to do as you kind of graduate in this space. But what got you here mm. is that Florida Bronx energy. Mm. <laughs> Whatever Indeed. you got going on, Indeed. that's what got you in these positions, right? Yeah. So that barometer of people coming at you online, people critiquing your dating history because of the content that you put out, like it has to be a gauge of success. Like I get a lot, we've honestly over the last yeah. few weeks, we've gotten a lot of like bullshit in the comments. And it's cool. Okay. Like I laugh at it. We just brought on like a, a new team member. He He's in DC. He runs our social media. So he sees everything. Oh, I wonder if we just had the same nigga. I hope not. <laughs> Me neither. I really hope we didn't. I want to know who's somebody in DC right now too. But like he, he, me and him had a conversation. He's like, "Yo, bro, like, how's your mental? <laughs> like, how are you doing? Are you, you are right? Like, you are. Trayvon on is not new to this. And so like, he's fine, bro. This is a gauge yeah. for success for sure. In reach, it, it, I don't know. It, it I don't is. know. I don't know. I don't know. I, like a little bit of pushback. I get. I do agree. Like because that's what gets people investing, gets people talking. But Savon is also an extremist. So that's why he likes the Me polarizing too. stuff. This is true. But there, I'm just thinking, there's some people though who don't have to be polarizing, and they're very successful. Like if we, if we think of like a really successful like beauty influencer uh, or Dave Shetty, she's like mm -hmm. positive. Jay, like, Jay, Jay, Shetty. Jay, Shetty. Jay Shetty, yeah. Shetty. Like, but they, mm -hmm, I, mm -hmm. I agree with the polarizing shit. But yeah. there's also people who are just very positive, do good work, and they're very very successful as well. That's so I, I don't so, know if that barometer so is necessary. It, it, like, it's weird because when you look at it that way, though, a lot of times they're standing for. A purpose, right? Or mm -hmm. they are they they've created something that supports or helps mm -hmm. or benefits yeah. some people. People in this space oh, as a person, just okay, well, well, I, no, 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 no. Not only not only just podcasting, mm -hmm. but when you are a personality that opens up with your opinion mm -hmm. first, mm -hmm. like that's the thing. There's a lot of people that are doing great, mm -hmm. amazing things as in what they're doing, but in the landscape of showing up as yourself right sharing your opinion mm -hmm. like we have to look at those people that's that's the only thing mm -hmm. i would yeah you can't be like lukewarm yeah, well, i agree well no not only lukewarm it's just that if you're up here and you standing on your opinion and mm -hmm. not flippy floppy mm -hmm. people are going to disagree with you we talked about just reality of yeah. it right mm -hmm. yeah, yeah so when i look at the internet i understand that my takes on things are very different they're based on my mm -hmm. life my life is not normal. Yeah. I didn't have yeah. some, you know. But we done did some shit. shit. She's like, I'm a phone. Not only am I a phone, oh my God. I've, I've experienced a lot of things. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. And so to me, my 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 thoughts are not gonna be of everyone's, but also I'm I say things that a lot of people may think mm. and they wouldn't say. That's a fact. And so that's what I said in my intro, guys. So so, so there's also an uncomfortability yeah. or an envy. That I'm able to live in my just truth. Say it. Yeah, that I'm yeah, able yeah. to be on cameras and mics and damn, I wish I could do that. I wish I could stand up to my boss. Absolutely. I wish I could, I wish I could tell my partner what he's doing wrong. I wish I could tell my friend how she right. hurt me. Right. And I'm sharing so that they almost start weekly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. and, and I think they call it you that. messy for it, but they secretly wish they could do it as well. Oh yeah. no, no. I be messy sometimes. <laughs> oh my God. I'm trying to do it. I mean, no. You try to clean your but, image. But, no, but, but that's damn. the petty. She's but, like, no, I'm messy. But, no, I mean, but that's the thing. Yeah. In real life, I don't wish ill on people. I don't do people wrong. I don't like go out of my way to hate or have beef Told with you. niggas. I also forgive niggas that I probably shouldn't have. Mm. Like I'm I'm always open to just accepting that we're humans. We we yeah. we operate yeah, yeah, differently. Yeah, yeah. We come from different experiences. I don't go out of my way to like shit on people. Right. But baby, and, when and, you come for me, I'm finna come for you. And you mentioned reality. I don't know about you guys, but when I meet people that know us from the podcast industry in real life, mad respect. Nothing but love. Yeah. I, Nothing below. It's, it's to a point where it's like, yeah. damn, my nigga, where are the negative comments coming from? Because yeah. whenever they see a nigga in person, I don't know if it's because of these muscles we got. Say, <laughs> I, 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 listen, I don't know, but I always say it's, it's always love. We're, yeah. a yeah. love. We're a lot bigger in person. A lot bigger in person. That's probably what <laughs> yeah. it is. That's, that's, probably, shit. In that's probably what it is. That's, that's, that's what, what she is. said. <laughs> oh, You're stupid, yo. You're stupid. <laughs> listen. But even, even yeah. somebody like a Jay Shetty, like his brand is being wholesome. It's so wholesome, right? But there's still, I promise you, if you go in his comments, he interviews great. But even mm. if you go he's in his amazing. comments, he's going to get hate. Oh, There's always going to be somebody to look at you. Hold on, hold on. But do you want to know what keeps me grounded in reality? What? Whenever I have to be reminded that people are just always going to hate or be shitty or have mm -hmm. something Naturally. to say, mm -hmm. go into them shade room comments. <laughs> it could be a beautiful, it could be a fucking post about dogs and it'll be like, that's why cats are superior. <laughs> oh, like, Jesus. Literally, what like. What that dog eye? But, but, or, or I, I find 
Meg, Cardi, certain women to be fucking beautiful. You mm-hmm. go into those comments, someone is in there to say she looked this way or that mm-hmm. way or something or is wrong. Or she or, got her body yeah. done. Or her body's done. Or, mm-hmm. Well, she ain't natural. She looked like an alien. Or yeah. what? It's like, as if it's posted for them to critique. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. And so where, where, yeah, we have this, this country where, okay, everyone has a freedom of speech. Right. It's like, yeah, nah, shut some of these niggas up. <laughs> but yeah. we got to deal but with it. But you can agree that you've, oh, no, you've done some things oh, online no. with your antics and yeah, made, nah. maybe people look at you a certain nah, way. No, nah, for sure. And I'll be honest with you too, like yeah. even even making periods, a huge thing of that is I'd rather sit here and deal with the women who support me. Black women have been huge supporters and and literally the reason as to why I've been able to grow and excel ha- as as I am when I'm on tour, yeah. our audience is ninety percent black women, fucking paid, educated black women, and so Fire. to be punched in and just kind of dropped into the the JBP atmosphere mm. of fucking men that actually don't want to hear women speak. I think the last three years being in that in that like mm-hmm. sphere of the internet has been really hard. Like it, it was really hard. What's going on, Need to Know family? Thank you so much for tuning into this episode, but we need to take a little break to give a shout out at our good friends at Underdog Fantasy. With a 50% deposit match of up to $500 using code Need to Know. That means new users can deposit up to $500 for up to $250 in bonus cash. Yep. So like Alex said, if you want to deposit $10, that means you'll have a $5 bonus bet to play with. If you want to play a little bit higher than that, let's say $500, you get $250. So like Alex, like Reggie said, use the code need to know on Underdog Fantasy. Press pause. Make sure y'all download the app right now to get that bonus and get into the episode. Let's get it, y'all. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm glad you mentioned the good brother, Joe, because I did have a few questions about that experience. <laughs> Obviously, Alex and I, we work with you right. um, during the first phase of See The Thing Is. Mm-hmm. Um, we saw that. A lot up of pasta. Up, up. <laughs> a lot of pasta. A lot of pasta. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Nigga, 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 I ain't gonna hold yeah, you. Nah. That, I was that's, big. I was big. On, no, no, no. I was hold big. On, hold on. Not only that, let's be very clear. I was big. Nigga, I, was I, big. Saw, I saw me and her her weight <laughs> uh, just on camera. Just, if, nigga, I was like. Hold on. Oh, wow, nigga. Let's say pandemic. This is, yeah, nah. This is possible. Right, right. Let's be clear. Oh, no, we was gaining weight, nigga. Yeah, no, no. That's Every Monday, we was, we was getting paid in pasta. I'm trying to... This <laughs> so, was, hey. Paid in pasta. Hey, that pasta Listen, was hitting to be paid pa- for now. That pasta was fire. Trying to tell you something. All right. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> but we, yeah, yeah. We, was, we was getting them carbs. <laughs> but at, at that time, um, you know... I know y'all had y'all y'all left the network at some point. Yeah, like we it's did. not new news. Y'all left the network, whatever. Y'all went independent. You had a lot that y'all had to figure out. You had to build your own team, you know, find your studio, all these things that came with leaving um, you know, somebody who had infrastructure, right? Mm-hmm. Joe provided the network at the very least, however you feel about no, getting paid no, no, pasta. No, 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 let's be there, very clear. There was infrastructure he, he, in place. He, infrastructure, team, production. Mm-hmm. We literally did just have to show up as talent. Yep. Ooh, yeah. Okay. So once you went independent and now you're in, you know, you ended that podcast, what are some of the things that you learned over that time from Joe? Is you want to there... know the craziest thing? What's up? Oh, and I felt him. Mm. I was like, fuck, why do I feel Joe right now? Would that be the worst right when you got to learn so, through it? And, and, and I think this was shared publicly. So when, when we left the network... Mm-hmm. <laughs> Clearly, okay, we had to find a studio. We had to figure this out. And I mean, my pride wasn't going to allow the the quality to dip. Mm-hmm. So we had to do the video, the clips. Like, we recreated <laughs> thumbnails. We got new, like, new color schemes. But I was like, shit. This, the, and of course, doing it with horrible decisions. Let's be very clear. Joe didn't teach me none of that shit. Right, I right, already right, knew how to sure. do it because I've been doing it before I started there. So I was like, okay, but this can get pricey. Not only that, when we ended up getting our deal, we were told two episodes a week, and we still have Patreon. Mm -hmm. So we have to do this video, audio, clips, cover arts, all this for three episodes a week. (laughs) So one of the things, though, that when he did it, I was like, damn, this this a fuck nigga. But (laughs) I actually did in in the end of mine. So (laughs) I know what she's saying. I know. (laughs) So when it ended... We were like, okay, we got to build this team, but we thought we would be able to keep the both of you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We, would, we would keep Aww. Alex yeah. as our screen man, yeah. and we would keep Savon as our producer. They ain't like that. And so we we had, <laughs> we, we had literally started talking about rates, payments. This yeah. was even before. Yeah. Absolutely. Like, I was like, we I even 
But we'll talk about it. That's all the- <laughs> Mark and <laughs> Karen. And I was just like, don't Thank say that. Thank you, Mark and Karen. <laughs> Believe Bleak. it. Bleak. <laughs> we be keeping it P, right? <laughs> okay, we keep it a P. Um, we keep it a P. Anyways, wanted to bring you guys on to help us grow. Yeah. And Joe was like, yeah. Once he found out y'all niggas was still working with us, he was like, yeah, so uh, y'all either work with see the thing is or the jvp but it's not both oh my god it's like the kids in a divorce yeah no literally <laughs> literally and i was like i was really i was i was actually really really fucking upset with him um when when that happened yeah. And, and I didn't really understand it either at that time. At, at, at the time, I, at the I, time I didn't. Because the, the way that I, I saw it was like, my nigga, I'm trying to eat. I, yeah. Like, I'm not like, asking you for a raise. And, and, I'm trying wait, to go wait. get some money somewhere else. Right, and, we and, thought it made sense. Me and, and Alex kind of looked at it. And, 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 and in my mind, sense. I thought the same too. Like, damn, not this nigga keeping, keeping y'all from making yeah, more money. That's how right. I felt. Right, and, right, right. Um, however, <laughs> in the ending of my show, where I hired and fired every single person and I created processes and this is my studio at the end that's where I actually felt I was like oh if you're gonna go out and be on your own you don't get to go on with everything that I've built the team that I built the processes that I built oh, make your own okay. and so let's be very clear at the end that was my stance you don't that that video came okay. Two days. Mm. That that video that everyone wanted to pay fifteen dollars for. Thank you. <laughs> um, that video came. What is that? What, what do you what, mean? It came with my message that you can't record out of my studio. Maybe. And I also let everyone know. There's oh, a lot my, of people who may not, who may not yeah, know you, what you're you talking about here, man. Okay, well, so I, I want you to break I, it down. I yeah. ended there was my a video. podcast. See, the thing is, right. there was a video that referenced me and all of my work as admin. I did. I took that personally. A response video. And but that video when it came out was shot out of my co-host studio, and it was a lot. Uh, there was a lot of attacks on me. I felt like, and so that video though was recorded two days. Literally, mind you, it would have been good. Yeah. Mind you, we're going through through, and, and I won't get. To, I, I've shared what I'm about to say on on my receipts video. I was. I was told to buy her out for thirty thousand dollars, which is why I didn't do our last recording together. And so, to me, being asked that, I was also asked if she could use the See the Thing is discounted rate to film out of my studio. Hmm. So you playing with me and then still asking for favors, and I just want to separate all of this. So I don't want you out of my studio. I don't want you doing anything. Just want to you go your separate ways. Just let's go our separate, let's go our separate ways. ways. Please go and be successful with your new co-host, but start your own thing. Don't use the team, the Got sets, Under, and understood. my resources. And, and, and in that, I felt like, damn, I see what why Joe didn't want me to work with y'all. Mm -hmm. I see why oh. he created this process because it's like, no, you don't get to leave and take the team that I built or that I taught or that I trained or that I invested into. Mm -hmm. And this is my brain and you just get to take my IP with you. Mm. You, you know and what I mean? And you get the infrastructure. And, and you, you get, get the, the infrastructure and the consistency. People who know what they're doing. But, yeah. but based off of all of my hard work. Yeah. yeah. And, and so, so I, I understood mm -hmm. why Joe didn't want us to have you guys. Y'all were very cool. valuable for, for the JBN. Right. And you helped build all of that from, mm -hmm. from for a long time. Yeah. And you know, yeah. so to me, I think that was the most clarity that I think I learned from the whole process and even from Joe. I, mm -hmm. I was like, I get it. Yeah. I get it. And it wasn't that it was gatekeeping. It was just that go do this on your own, but also for any of my team members, yeah, pick sides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I picked. This is fair. <laughs> I'm still, hey, hey, no, no. I'm still with no, Joe. No, no, no. And you know what? I mean, you but y'all still good yeah. friends. No, no, no. It's still good friends. And I, what, I didn't take it personally no, at all. No, you didn't. Because yeah, baby, yeah, when Joe business. was paying him, I wasn't going to pay him. Period. <laughs> 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 I ain't going to hold you. I ain't going to hold you. That's why hey, people hey, talking about Joe paying. Hey, hey, I'm like, uh, hey, listen, you ain't never heard me complain listen, about Joe. I'll be like, wait, hold on. That's true. I can't say that. I'm still over there. That's my man. He's still over there. And I'm not going to lie. Like, you know. And so, also, I would say um, my other takeaway from it is I would never have a partnership and I'm 1099 everybody. Uh, so, <laughs> I will only move forward with hiring. But you did Talent, learn. like, yeah. like I, I don't want partnership. And that's yeah. the thing, like, when you get into a relationship, when you get into mm -hmm. a business, like, you assume that this person is going to show up the same way you mm -hmm. show up, right? We're 50-50 yeah. in this. Nothing is ever motherfucking 50-50. Mm -hmm. But you know when niggas don't want to change percentages? When money's involved. Yeah. Like, niggas, so 
We 50 50 with the money, but we not 50 50 with the workload. Make it make sense. It's not making sense. It's not making sense. And so, yeah. Go, I have go to ahead, say Reggie. something like right here. I'm going to make it awkward a little bit because Please. you, I fully understand like everything that you've been through, why you don't want to do a partnership now because you've had a lot and you're like, this is what I want to do now. But my two lovely guys here, Alex and Savon, I would say this is a partnership. So, how yeah. do you guys feel? Yeah. Doing the whole, you know, mm-hmm. splitting, co-owning thing. Because they're literally mm-hmm. part, they're partners. Like, it's a yeah. partnership. Yeah. So, yeah. how do you guys feel about all this? I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm like, because I feel but you, hard, know what but it is, you guys are, like, it's, very it's, it's different. It's really personality driven, right? Yeah. So, I don't know. Maybe me and Savon are just lucky or blessed. Mm-hmm. We both know what we both do well. I think mm, that's a, what I, I do. Not buy that. it. Do not but, buy well, it. No, 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 no. I, I'm in a partnership right now right. for for oh, an yeah. animated series that I'm creating. Right, okay. right. My partner though is an animator. Mm. He is so strong, and there's nothing that I could tell him about what the fuck he's good at or what he knows yeah, how to do. Yeah, your roles. So it makes sense. Yeah, yeah your roles. But in terms of podcasting, which doesn't have a blueprint, yeah. you don't know if a nigga know how to fucking. Upload. Uh, upload, upload and, yes. and learn a so, so and, like and a, learn a fucking a hosting site a hosting site yeah, yeah. Or, yeah. Or, they don't know what a or, hosting or site is or audio <laughs> or, or no video like yeah, yeah. and so that's where you hire the team but right. also there's the logistics mm-hmm. of working yeah. but like I, I think going back to like that 50 50 like you said nothing is 50 yeah. 50 but there's life. something things like certain things where he's really great at like when we walk into a room at an event I don't gotta talk. I just it's have him. to it's I Alex. introduce it's Alex. myself. I say, "Hey, how you doing?" I'm Savon. Hey, it's, it's a pleasure it's to meet you. you. And hey, then yo. I just pass him off to Alex. Right? <laughs> you like, saw him even today too with you. Like he brought the energy. Yeah. There's the voice. certain intangibles yeah. that I don't think you can af- account for on paper. Like right. once you mm-hmm. reach a certain level of partnership and understanding of who does what and who's well at doing whatever it is. Like Alex is also really good with people. Yeah. Right. right? Yeah. I could come off a little. Um, a little what? <laughs> like it's a running joke that I'm the in-house HR. Yeah, oh, I, I can just come off rigid. Okay. I can be very rigid. I, I, I can be very rigid. I want to see what it's word he was going to use to describe himself. That's a great word. I, I can be Not for a, you, but it's like... Yeah, but I, I, I think... Because again, He's like, you are rigid. But, but Mandy knows you need somebody who is yeah. going yes. to do the yeah. day-to-day to schedule the yeah. meetings, the balance. to mm-hmm. book the phone. Yeah, and you can us, split it. Yeah, he texts us yeah. at 2 a.m. to Absolutely. be like, guys, get your shit. You get what I'm saying? So like, you need that. Don't text my fucking phone at 2 a.m. I already told that nigga, man. I set my boundaries. Like, like... Uh, everyone knows, like, yeah. don't hit me after time. nine o'clock. Mm-hmm. No, yeah. actually, I think it's six and six. Okay, don't, six I, and six. I think it's six and six. Okay. Don't hit me unless you're the homie. Wow. Yeah, no, no, no. Like, I respect that. I, like, but... literally, y'all having me record right now at night. <laughs> my brain is off. Yeah, the, you're like, doing great. You're doing I'm great. I'm supposed <laughs> to be to bed Sorry. in an hour. Yeah, um, <laughs> <laughs> it's nine fifteen at night. Um, <laughs> and you had a late night last night at the wedding. I had a so, very late, late night last night, and super I wake late. up early. Right. Like I'm still. She's up at seven a.m. She told oh, us. Oh, oh I'll yeah. be calling. I'll be like, I know you're not at work yet, nigga. Uh, <laughs> I'll be like, you on your way though? I'll, I'll call him in like I eight, talk. I'll call yeah. him at like seven yeah. thirty, eight o'clock in the morning, yeah. and be talking. Yeah, that's my time to talk to people. Like mm-hmm. that's when I be up. So yeah. yeah. But I think it's just knowing who you work with. Yeah. Um, and it, it kind of like. A lot of podcasts go through breakups. Like we've been through different variations, iterations mm. of the podcast. Oh yeah, before you oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I thought y'all were talking to the project. I was like, oh, oh. oh yeah, girl. We've had some yeah, I wasn't the original yes. member, guys. So. Yeah. Yeah. We definitely have some iterations on the yeah. podcast and they do break up. For sure. But a lot of those end up like money, shit like that. Um or whatever, just not being able to see eye to eye. I think mm-hmm. what me I think and it's Alex more do. That. It's the eye to eye. Me and Alex yeah. are really good at like seeing a, a common ground like coming sure. to like there's been times where we've argued yeah and naturally, then naturally. we gotta dab each other up and get right back to right it like nobody would it. ever know in the studio yeah. that me and this nigga just <laughs> that, oh, no, no. That, that, that's why no let's be very clear that's, yeah. that's why even with all the beef happening right yeah. now Niggas like clean up beasts way quicker than way women quicker, do. Way. <laughs> way quicker. Way quicker. Niggas will be like, yeah, no, I said, all right, we cool now, nigga. We, yeah, let's go yeah, home. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I feel like you, are, like, like women don't. I would have to have a real hatred with Savon and just not forgive him. Real talk. Like, mm-hmm. I, I never had that with yeah, him. Even yeah, like yeah. how this podcast was sort of birthed, mm-hmm. we came into this shit splitting everything when it came to money. Yeah. Right? So maybe as the podcast grew, we naturally just understood the roles where it's like, nah, bro, like we know what we both want to show up as. And we met in college. Yeah. Yeah, we did. And we met in college. So That's I fun. knew that he was in the audio engineer and I yeah. knew right. he was good in front of the camera. And vice versa. Like, I literally saw him in a class project well, yeah. eight, ten years what? ago. Yeah. I was like, oh, this nigga's great on yeah. camera. And, <laughs> and that's the thing. Yeah. When when a lot of people maybe want to start potting, like, right, right. especially even with, with my last pod, so to speak, I come from an accounting corporate background with 
you know, almost eight years of experience mm -hmm. with a successful podcast. Yeah. Music industry, completely different industries. We didn't know, and in reality TV, we didn't know each other's work ethic and mm -hmm. things like that. Mind you, she's a phenomenal fucking singer. She's very fucking talented. Oh, yeah. Super, and for and sure. of course, we had just never worked in a working capacity. Mm -hmm. And within that first year, yeah, had we didn't, we had Joe as, uh, we, me yeah. and me and her never had to have conversations about work ethics or things like that. I mean, there was a there was a conversation about time, yeah. which I talk about with everyone. Shout out to every single one of my guests that's come on period. Says apparently they they know can't be late for Mandy. I, <laughs> I love that. I was early. Y'all yeah. niggas, you was late. I told you eight uh, o'clock. Yeah, you did. I you did. Did time. I tell y'all? You I didn't told me eight, eight o'clock. But I came early because you know biracial. I mean, I she was uh, no. <laughs> no, literally, no. she walked in here. She's like, of course I'm early. I'm half white. <laughs> How about going to see your studio? I, well, no, and it's that too. I, <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. I like showing up early, but right. to me, it's respectful. Yeah, yeah. Right. And so, I'm loving this. And so, so to much me, I align, I align timing with respect. Right. And yeah. so, to me, whether you know how to fucking edit or upload audio, whether you tell the truth all the time, like in relationships, this isn't just about podcasting. For anyone yeah. listening, I don't want them to feel excluded. Mm. But to me, timeliness in any capacity is a sign that you respect Respect's somebody. Like, right. And so to me, showing up late, not coming on time or mm -hmm. or having to cut things short like to me that like it's very selfish. And and yeah, yeah and me me knowing we have a time for anything, guests, mm -hmm. potting, mm -hmm. relationships if we have, if, if I have a date mm -hmm. and nigga you better not thank you for the show up late. Hello. Like I'm that's your last day. I baby. <laughs> Bye -bye. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm gone. Yeah, like yeah, I'm that yeah, disappearing yeah. keep sign meme. <laughs> so I guess Fade what out. I want to ask you is when did the respect leave from that relationship between the two of y'all? Right? Because me and Savon, I'm gonna be honest with you, we just saw last pasta and wine when we was there at least. <laughs> well, no, 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 no. I, I think that and I think that's the thing. I just don't think we ever got to a point where we could identify our strengths, weaknesses, and roles, mm -hmm. to be very clear. And I think, I think that tour, the the five, the the five live shows that we did, that that Revealed kind of a lot. Yeah. They revealed a lot. I mean, it, it, on both fronts. Yeah. I'm, I'm I mean, sure she I'm, feels I'm, the same, same. way. I'm sure oh, she probably learned oh, so I, many things listen, about you where it's like, let, let, yeah. wait, what did I sign up for? And, this motherfucker, this nigga crazy. I, and, and, and possibly, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, could. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to tell her how to feel about me sure. ever. And I don't know. I'm not going to say, you know, I'm not going to say anything she said was wrong. I dropped the receipts. Y'all could, ooh, sorry, y'all could fact check that, you know? Like, I only know what's black and white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When we involve the feelings and the emotions, that's the thing too. It's very hard to separate business and personal. Mm -hmm. And I think that's our dynamic. I think there was, she wanted to lean on a friendship. And I'm like, well, how can you be my friend if you're showing up this way in business, knowing it's impacting me mentally and physically and, and those things? Yeah. There was no way I, I couldn't start taking Definitely. things personal. Mm -hmm. Like, you can't sit right next to me and be like, oh, baby, you're, you're burning out. And I, I fear that you're reaching a burnout and you're not helping me in the back end with all the work I'm doing to relieve me from a burnout. There was never Can I ask there? There, there was never like a you know what, Mandy? Yeah. There's a lot going on. The next two weeks, I'll take the meetings, I'll make the outlines, I'll I'll take on the stress of it. Like, like and to me, if you know I'm reaching a burnout, that's what a friend would do. And I felt like to me, when people are friends in business, mm -hmm. you lean on to the friendship right. to accept. To, to expect grace. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe and, and again, I don't like that hoe. I, I, I don't like grace. I don't. Niggas don't you get. You gotta gr like grace. I don't like grace. I love grace. Gracie, good people. Mm -mm. <laughs> Me and hoe was just We're picking it. Humans, grace you know? could suck my dick from no. the back. Oh my goodness. You don't get grace after I didn't said so much of what God I need. Damn. Like but, I don't like people but, thinking they need all this grace. I, I, I don't. I don't want to kind of dive too much no, into the weeds there. You know what I'm saying? We don't have to. But maybe there is a world where maybe she just didn't know how. To Wait. show up, like sometimes you don't know how to show up for certain people. Like I'm very vocal. I tell them every week, I need a break. <laughs> right? At some point, oh, I'm going I to mean, take I, a vacation I, I, I on was, a Tuesday I, and not show I, up. I, I was vocalizing right? that. And that's so, the thing. On, on the video she made, it was that I didn't support the other pod that she produced. So I'm begging you to show up. And now you're parading around that you're producing a whole nother show. Mm, like it, it felt you. like a slap in the face. It felt mm. like she was trying to prove to me that she could do it without doing it. And mind you, 
I wish the best for her. She has a, y'all. Everything is fine. Whenever it reaches DSPs or wherever they're gonna place it, because right. it won't be on Patreon. I want y'all to go support it and watch it. Yes. I want y'all to listen to her because I think she's phenomenal on a microphone. I wouldn't. Have, yeah, she's great. I wouldn't have wanted her next to me if I didn't. I think yeah, that she's a amazing. talented. I think she's talented. <laughs> you know that. I think that she can be great on a microphone, singing, talking, whatever. So, but and I want y'all to support her. I'm not yeah. saying I don't want y'all to support her. Right. I want our business done the right way. But y'all support her from this point moving on. If y'all haven't already, right. I don't wish ill on her. I want her nothing but the happiness. Her and her co-hosts, they can go and fucking. I hope they tour. Yeah. I hope they fucking women <laughs> win a Webby. <laughs> goddamn it. Yeah. But to me, where I'm at in my personal thing is, I, I didn't, I wasn't malicious in anything I did to you. So that video, on a personal level, outside oh, of all the business that okay. I brought back to it. It's like, damn, bitch, for real? Right. Like, I really didn't do nothing. And there's so many things personally in which I've showed up for her over the last three years. And the same for me. So when business did get soured, it, it hurt me to see that video. When Savon needs a break, right? When Reggie needs a break, when I need a break, we got facilities here as to where people can take a break. Mm -hmm. I know you always keep a team with you. And like you said, mm -hmm. you did do a lot of the tasks. I'm going to be honest with you, Mandy. I was a little bit confused. I was like... Why don't Mandy just delegate some of these things to the in-house producer? We, did. we had seven different people. That's what, explain had, that because people team, don't understand that. We yeah. had a team. I, yeah, people don't understand that. But again, that, we, we, we spent the beginning right. of the pod talking about it. Right. Delegating, managing, yes. telling people what's it's, needed. It's still a job. Like, there's still a job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's still a job. In and you're saying like she couldn't and delegate the same way. I mean... But it, I, again, I'm not I just think it's roles. Cause not, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to speak for Bridget. But, like no, I, no, fuck, no. I fuck with BK. No, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and I don't, I don't want this I'm to not saying like, she can't do anything. Right. I am not on this pod to even talk That's what shit I'm saying. about no. her. And That's I want to make that very clear. I'm trying to pivot. Cause motherfucking. Can you not talk to niggas that we don't talk to? Like, let's just pivot. All I'm saying, all I'm saying, fuck anybody that want to say anything about me online, honestly. But. All I'm saying is this is not a a a I'm dog not, it's not dog like, and that is not why we no. had you on the pod. Right. Again, there's a lot of things that I did want to talk about. I did want to hear about yeah. what you learned with Joe. You have a lot of relationships with the people over on the JBP. Um, where's your relationship now with Joe? And then I also want to pivot to because you're one of the few people in this space. You're probably the only person in this space who has been in business from a talent perspective with Joe Budden and Charlemagne the guy. Yeah. I think that's me, me admirable. And, me and Ebony K. Williams, probably I, the only two. I, I think oh, wow. that's mm -hmm. that I, personally for me in this space. I think that's a flex. I think that says something Packer. about your talent. I, I, I think that also not a talent, but <laughs> work. I get what you're saying. But I, I think that's um, you know, uh, it's an indictment to who you are, right? Like, and and not indictment. I mean, so the so word. here's the thing. But I I I know people. I, there may be only two people in the world that I hate, right? Okay. Y'all wouldn't know who they are. We ain't talk about them on this podcast. No, 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 no. I just no. want to clear that up. No, 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 Because again, no. I don't want this to look also, like the platform but also, but also, where but also, Mandy kicks Bridget's back in. No, no, like, no, no, but y'all wouldn't know who they are. Yeah, I, don't, yeah, yeah, I don't hate yeah, Bridget. Let's be very clear. Right. Let's, let's be just, very clear. Let's make it clear. Um, I don't hate Joe. Mm -hmm. Um, My relationship with him right now, and I, and I said it publicly, I wish we had handled our business better. Like, he should have known we were breaking up with the rest of the world. Gotcha. He should have been made privy to that beforehand. Uh, because y'all be were doing business together in some capacity. Well, yeah, that nigga got fucking perpetuity, which was another reason why I wanted to end the show. <laughs> I don't need fucking Joe up in my motherfucking pockets. He be talking about pocket watch all the time. <laughs> nigga knew what the fuck was coming in and what was going out. <laughs> nigga got p and every quarter. I love this. You feel this me? Nigga Joe, yeah. Every like, quarter, this nigga. Nigga, yeah. nigga got, we had to pay an accountant to get them p and sent over to his motherfucking team. Yeah. And so to be clear, had had me and Bridget continued not only with the pod, if we did TV, if we did that nigga put us in a little 360 to separate and get our little assets that we wanted, <laughs> like the RSS, the the name and and all those things. And so to me, it was like it, it wasn't only a split from see the thing is and Bridget as a partner, but it was like, yeah, let me cut these ties with Joe. Now I don't hate Joe. I could see him today. Whether we talk or not, we've been in the same rooms, nigga be beeline in a way. Oh, oh no, my don't. goodness. No, he don't. Nigga, he, he just probably had something to do over there on that side. Nigga, Cinco de Mayo at 4040. <laughs> nigga saw me. 
What? Let's be very clear. Who hosted the Rock Nation huh? that he talks about on the pod nah. with Maida, <laughs> Dixon, uh, Ombre? What? That nigga was there and I was the host. But, but you nigga know saw me. You know, it's dark, do the, you know it's dark in the 44. Nah, it wasn't dark. Nigga, I was walking around with the mic. Spotlight on me. Oh, Don't shit, do that. Right. <laughs> so, yeah. so, so to be clear, <laughs> man, whether, it, man. whether Joe like wants to actually have a face to face, I did. I did tell him, listen, nigga, you keep fucking talking about my name on the podcast. Nigga, I'll take I'll take a steak since you want to talk about Tatiana's and <laughs> and and catch all the goddamn time. I'll take a free meal if you want to know some tea. Would y'all nigga have a tea for? Um, <laughs> you I go. That was funny. That was funny. Joe made the U.S. prices. His shit. His shit probably gonna last longer than mine. <laughs> oh my god, I love the I love the honesty. <laughs> Nah, nah, nah. Yeah. Um, so to me, I don't hate him. I gotcha. think we operate business differently. I think we have a different code of ethics and morals yeah, sure. that we stand by and align with. I think that yeah. the way we look at friendships and business are different. Mm -hmm. um, but it's funny because y'all kind of split don't up do that, in don't. a similar way. Yeah, I mean, with podcast hosts. So he's like, I hate to say, I'll, I'll, he's like, I'll say first it. First off, I ain't fired nobody on air. Don't do that. Yo, happy <laughs> three. Was, 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 happy was, happy <laughs> three year anniversary to that iconic moment. By the way, it's been three years already. Yes, people wow. have been reposting that on, on Twitter every. Now, because me and Saint Vaughn was sitting back there like, what? <laughs> when he was on the couch, <laughs> was like, you yo. are fired. That's three years today. Guys. <laughs> all, all, all I know is we, we, we at least Yo. posted a joint statement. There was no joint nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Not that. that so, was a joint yeah. decision. Uh, and y'all dropped separate. Y'all wasn't behind the scenes. <laughs> Alex, it. let them know. Uh -huh. That was a joint decision they made that Yo. day. It was joint, all right. <laughs> <laughs> It was joint. All right. They it call it joint. the podcast 9-11 on Twitter today. Really? That's yes. wild. Wow. The Joe episode. <laughs> I'm, I'm, just, I'm just the messenger. I'm just the messenger. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not I'm <laughs> so you oh, and Joe, no, no, nothing no, right I, now. I, I'm not going to lie. By the way, y'all niggas be riding that nigga dick so hard. I have his number. If I have to say anything, I text Joe. Yeah. And I be like, yeah, nigga. Does he text, I, 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 does, does he text like, back? And does. Okay. Oh, uh, by the way, I'm I'm and does. Oh, that's oh, oh no, nah, he he's been kept in the loop. Okay. Through All right. All right. through. Oh, I listen. Yeah, you was also a listener of the JBP before you joined the network. I still listen, right? and that's why yeah. I know I don't so hate him. Was, like, it a, was it a culture shock to you being on the network and seeing how his uh, audience perceived your show with uh, Bridget? No, it wasn't. I mean, let's be very clear. Bridget, yeah. as a selection next to me, I knew I wanted to do a female version, quote unquote, of the JBP. Mm -hmm. I I felt like women have opinions on pop culture and things, and I think there was so many points missed mm -hmm. on on Joe's pod often. That shade. You know? Uh, well, that's no, just, just because from a, just from a no, different perspective. Hate. Just from a different perspective. Okay. And um, so wanted to create that. And let's be very clear. Bridget was probably the only female voice that had sat in on that studio and the audience loved her. They did. Yeah. They were the familiar audience with her. was yeah, familiar yeah, yeah. with her. Right. The audience liked her a lot. She, and I, I will say though, I think that that's the difference too. I got Bridget in a relationship. Bridget, when she came on the JBP, was was leaning into Transition. her cheating ways Transition. or was single. Yeah, yeah. And that's who I fell in love with too when she came on Horrible Decisions. And yeah. so we both Which had entered a transition with the pandemic. I was in a relationship when I met her. We were both just navigating life at the mm -hmm. same time. Right. But to me, she was she was a clear shining number one pick for me for that pod. Yeah, like yeah, I yeah, thought yeah. she was great within the, the audience. But yeah, mm -hmm. no, like I still listen to the JBP. Um, I still think Sex Mike's is nuts, but you know, I'm wow. glad y'all like They're it. They making it work. They you are, like it too. They making listen it work. every week. They're making, They're making it work. Glad y'all like it. Well, you I mean, listen every I, week. I mean, I like it. I like Oh, Majority of the niggas on there, I would never pay for that. Uh -huh. But I like, <laughs> Wait, first off, there's already six hours of free content. I don't have, I can barely get through, mm -hmm. like, the, main the week. Well, you I, have a lot I have other pods I listen on. to. Yeah. I have a lot of but other things But as a creator, I'm sure you could understand, like, the allure to somebody who is a super fan. Of no, no, having of a Patreon. Yeah, he's like, feeding them. Yeah, well, he's feeding I mean, the streets crazy. I mean, I was telling Ian and Joe and... Rory, Ma who else? I think everybody, me and Wheezy, we've been on Patreon since 2017. Right. Ooh. So yeah, yeah. I've been telling been people it. that this like was the move this, yeah. way before they got there. Mm -hmm. Like I was like for a lot of things, especially because horrible decisions isn't very brand safe. Mm -hmm. 
Patreon and touring is where we make our money. Yeah. And now we have our deal with Black Effect. Shout out to Black Effect. Mm -hmm. The only network really standing anymore. So Charlemagne definitely did something, right? Because a lot of these other networks folded. And so to me, I've always been an advocate of Patreon. Mm -hmm. I think it's the way that your audience, mm -hmm. your day ones, support you and what this takes. But what's wrong with six mics though? Especially for people who might feel fatigued, or I'm not saying them, right? You got six mics. You can really do some variations yeah, and that's some why, shit. Yeah, and that's why there's a solid two that barely talk. So That's not I true. Mean, they all talk. Okay. They all talk. I, I, they all he, talk. He... What? Stop the shit. What? Because it's you. <laughs> nigga, you don't keep they, talking they, to they, this they, nigga. What? Like, you don't know her. I know you her. You don't know in the love of her friend. You know, 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 know what she's about to do. I know what I do. He's like, he's what like tell me more. Because y'all know me. Y'all gotta be trying to understand what I do, shit. What I do? Dump the ball. Because he keeps throwing the pass. Yeah. I'm trying to understand. Listen. What's wrong with the best said, Rudy Gobert impression? Haven't you done high songs with multiple mics? No, he's literally like, what's wrong with six mics, Mandy? <laughs> now, I, I told you, yeah. any given episode, you yeah. to be kind of on the quiet side. Yeah, but all right, real quick, because I do want to pivot to Charlemagne, because you did mention Black yeah. Effect. I do want to pivot there, but I want to do quick hits on the JBP. You are a fan. You do have a relationship documented with, with Ish, with, with Flip. With Ish, with Flip. Yeah, Flip mad, because I ain't been in his studio yet, and I was supposed to go. Shout out to Flip. Shout out to I, Flip. I, I'm a fan of Flip. I, I, I fuck love with what Flip. he's doing with Flip the Network. I, always, I love all that show shit. love the Flip. Love Ice. Um, I mean, I, Love everybody. Yeah. Uh, Parks, I think anytime I see him out, I, I don't know Mel personally, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so there's no relationship there. Mm -hmm. um, but everyone else on there, from yeah. From a content standpoint, mm -hmm. not even just person. I, I know you know everybody. Per I'm talking yeah. about as a fan, from a content standpoint, how you feel about this current iteration of the JBP, and then I want to go to Charlemagne. Um... It's a lot of mics. A lot of mics. It, it, I, I mean, see, that's why I be asking specific, nigga. I mean, okay, okay. It's a lot of so, mics. So, so this iteration, I, I will say, I like, of course, the OG squad together much more. Um, but this is, I mean, I listen to it. Okay. So, right. I mean, I'll take that. You know, I'll I mean, take I, that. I, 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 you're I'm not gonna give you anything else. I no, that's to fine. It. I mean, I mean, I do think that. Um, I I I appreciated it more when it was mature. I like the I like getting into deep conversation a little mm. bit more than people probably think. And so when things just become too funny or I, I also as a podcaster know when things are being said for entertainment, likes, clicks, yeah, entertainment. Yeah, yeah. And so I feel like, you know, me, you and me, you and Joe did a live stream um, on YouTube, <laughs> on, YouTube on YouTube at his crib in uh huh. That shit was kind of fun. Yeah, that, it was, was great. Was, and this is when they fun. when he was testing that, and and that's the thing too. Like, see, the thing is, the inception of that took about a year and a half. Like, yeah. I was at Joe's house probably yeah. weekly at one point, or yeah. at least every other week right. in yeah. the pool, like just meeting his talking team, shit. Sh talking shit, and just vibing with him. I think <clears throat> Ian's incredible. Mm -hmm. Like, that's the thing. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if I can say it. What's up? Joe is great. Nigga, Ian's the brain over there. It ain't Joe. It's both for the nah, brain. No, nigga, it's bro. fucking Ian. But y'all, no, you don't nah, believe that. You don't believe I, that. I, I don't I, care I, if we got to mark this. That, that's fine. Ian got to listen to Joe first. Oh, I'll tell you now. We were told not to talk to Joe. That's that's what you do when you have no, management. No, no, no. It, it goes Ian, back. It goes back Ian, to that word, the p word, partnerships. There's partnerships. They have roles and they got they they. Listen, Ian does his job listen, extremely well. Oh, he's high functioning, very efficient. Very that's, and a, that's Joe, a badass. It's like Joe's like a mastermind. And then Joe no, is the that's, ultimate that's talent. That's a badass. Listen, he figuring it out over there. Sure is. There's no way you think Joe doesn't tell Ian. Something collaborate. Like, you don't, you, yeah, there's no way you think that. There's no way you think that Ian is just running the whole brain f uh, functions and Joe's yeah, like, I bet. No way you think that. Okay. Really? Look at him. <laughs> Yo, he, look, 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 look. Reggie, he threw another laugh. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no, really? no, 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 no. There's no way you think that. <laughs> Mike, Mike, <laughs> Mike, 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 I mean, I mean, like, I, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Let's be very clear. I think that it's, that it's needed. Joe yeah, has found sure. someone that can excel his, his, business behind the scenes mm -hmm. and just having that relationship inside and, and knowing like Ian's mind works differently. It does. It, it, does. it really works it differently. And he, he tries to be ahead of the curve on so many things. And yeah. mm -hmm. I mean, hearing even on the pod, the conversations to where they went from, I mean, even before ish, the real estate, the NFTs, the streaming, the, mm -hmm. the page, like where to go with all that. Like me and Ian would sit for hours at Kaufman and literally talk about the subscription model. Mm -hmm. And when we were doing that and even me, him and Joe dissected how OnlyFans was genius because of the subscription model. Mm -hmm. Like 
Netflix and all these things, like the the conversations I've had with him and how his mind works, like I, I get it. Sure, he he might have to listen to Joe, but that that man doing his, his nah, thing, very, very and, and he's yeah. our age. Ian, Ian right. is fearless. Like too. Right. Ian is right. is very much fearless. And let's yeah. be very clear, he's not old because yeah. he's a white man. He gets into the rooms that maybe Joe can't by himself. Mm -hmm. So I, I mean, and and I don't think that's talked enough. Like I understand, like we're we're wanting to build these empires and be black enterprises. I'm sure Jay got a couple Jews on on speed dial, and so does you know. I, I don't want to say Diddy because he done lost quite a lot lately, but. There's a lot of like our the most powerful, prominent mm -hmm. black men still have to lean on the you know someone white yeah, uh, by their side, whether it's their lawyer, whether it's their manager, for sure. And baby Ian is him. Ian is definitely. She said Jay got a couple Jews on speed dial. <laughs> no, no, That's no, a no. bar. <laughs> Shout to Jack. Shout to Jack. Shout to Jack. I don't Jay know if he's Jack. I don't even know. If the, I don't Wait. know. But shout to Jack. Wow. I see him in whole. Jack is crazy. Shout to Jack. That's my son. Oh man, but not yet. Shout That's out to Ian, man. Shout out to that whole operation. They doing yeah, something man. great over there. Yeah. Um, but like I said, I, I I do think it's very admirable for you to be one of the few. You, Ebony K. Williams, to be yeah. in business. And I think outside of like Ebony K., I think she worked alongside Joe on the show that they did. State of I culture. Think yeah. Charlemagne. And Joe, they specifically said, I see something in her where I want to invest in her, where she's going to be a representation of who we are. Yeah. And that's where I think you are one of one. I I, I was very heartbroken when their relationship soiled hmm. because I felt like what them two could be doing in the culture could be so... So prominent, you know what I mean? Break it so down powerful. Because when Joe was here, I was telling him how I don't really like content with the two of them together. I, so what I, do you think? Like, I, break it I, down. For I me. think they could be great, even if it's fucking where it's Batman and Joker, like to where they play the opposites, like of each other. Got you. I I absolutely love Charlemagne and Joe next to each other, other than Joe and Ack. Mm. Um, you know, like right. I I don't know. I think they're very powerful. They do things polarizing differently. Together. They're polarizing. Okay. Um. And even though they may operate differently, both of their methods are working. I think that's the one thing I really love about Brilliant Idiots is that Andrew Schultz and Charlemagne do not operate the same at all. They no. talk about how one is YouTube focused, one is audio focused, one is this focused, one is that. They're completely different in both of their business infrastructures, yet they are both massively successful. Massive. Like I've enjoyed so much seeing Andrew shoot up the charts. Like I was Incredible. literally at the Webby's talking about it. Like Andrew opened up for us at Caroline's. For wow. horrible decisions. That nigga just sold out the fucking garden. That's Crazy. fucking insanity. So, Salute like, to Andrew, man. You know yeah. what I mean? It's been documented on this pod. Like, that's that's my favorite podcast. Yeah, like mm -hmm. he's, That's the podcast that kind of got me into this into space. So he's, he's, he's insane. And so to me, yeah, like, I hate that their relationship sold and it soiled at the time that I signed to both of them. Yeah, you were I, signed, I, I announced I announced we were joining Black Effect in September of 2020. We dropped... The first episode, or at least the launch of See the Thing Is, October 6, October. 2020. Yeah. Like literally the week before my birthday. So, and then ended up fucking catching COVID and had to navigate that. But yeah, like, so to be working with both of them, I, I really wish I could have found mentorship in both of them at the mm -hmm. time. And it just got messy that I signed with both of them at that time. Signing with both of them, did it ever, did you ever feel like any tension with your dealings with them? Like was it like Very, in the just in the early times when they yeah. were talking about each other publicly, got you. and it was getting personal, and got you. I I was a little bit in the mix. I was like, because they be like, yo, that's your man, right? Yeah, <laughs> I can imagine. It, yeah, it, that's your man. It got a, it got, a, it, got a, it got a it got a little it got a little a little yeah. hasty, but yeah. to me, I think they're both grown. Like mm -hmm. I didn't, I wasn't involving myself in the middle. I have respect for both of them, mm -hmm. um, especially at that time. Mm -hmm. So I didn't want to get in the middle of it at all but i respect both of them in their paths of where they got where they got mm -hmm. and i'm hoping when i'm as old as them fuckers because they old as fuck once i get their age i should be real real <laughs> <'cause> they <old laughs> as fuck. them not. niggas got me by about 12 15 <laughs> years <laughs> niggas is old uh and that's another thing i'll be looking at my peers like y'all niggas old nigga i'm i'm 33 y'all niggas 45 i got time that's you know what i mean <laughs> no, that's, that's how i look at savon yeah <laughs> Still I'm kidding. He's only like two years old. Yeah. <laughs> so when, when speaking with like the Joe and the Charlemagne thing, right? Yeah. With Charlemagne, every time he talks about Black Effect, 
he gives a list of the pods on that network. Mm -hmm. Horrible decisions is always there. Yeah. Which tells me y'all are a pillar of that network. Well, yeah, because a lot of pods um, didn't rock out. I signed on a slate with a lot of big name pods. Mm -hmm. I won't say names. They chose to leave to networks that now no longer exist. Oh. And now they're trying to figure their shit out because now they're left with nothing. Like, mm -hmm. Black Effect has whatever that partnership deal is between Charlemagne and iHeart right. is working. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not mad at my... I, I don't know. I think he's hired on a great team. Shout out to Dolly. Shout out to Nicole. Shout out to Jawara. Shout out to everyone. Like, And that's another thing. He hired a strong team of black women. Oh, come on. Which, that's so, going to get you like, a win. Char Charlamagne mm -hmm. doesn't just talk about this shit. Like, yeah, he he got his his white Jew. Shout out to Chris Morrow. He got one on Chris a Morrow team. Chris Morrow from uh, Loudspeakers? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, okay. And, and he's not a part of Black Effect, but they still work heavily uh, together. Gotcha. And so, but to me, Charlamagne does a really good effort in bringing other black win women to the forefront and in positions of power. Mm -hmm. And I think it's great. I think that also they've, come up with some calculation that they got to be making money and being profitable in some yeah, sense for yeah. for iHeart. Every time I look up, iHeart is profitable with their podcast, mm -hmm. at least by 10, 12% like mm -hmm. growth. So, I mean, it worked. I mean, one network is left and one's not. So someone knew what they were doing. You know what I mean? I'm curious with, uh, about what you've caught. <laughs> Y'all niggas. <laughs> Nah, now you throw out you. Nigga, put your basketball I, down. I, I, I just asked. Nah, listen, I'm just gonna talk. I, listen, this is me where y'all are like, oh my god, Jesus, I'm really. Gonna... I be shady. Shady's yeah. fun. Shady's fun like petty. Yeah, I don't mean it. I love everybody. I want success for everybody. Um, but yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I think that horrible decisions has been great. Like we get anywhere from nine hundred thousand to a million views a month. Hmm. We drop four episodes, fifty minutes to an hour. That's it. Mm -hmm. And we're getting them. To, and those are audio only numbers. Like y'all can Damn. go look at our YouTube. Our YouTube, we got to be shadow banned. Our YouTube numbers, we may only see a hundred to 200,000 a month. Mm -hmm. Our views are with audio. And so where I align more with Charlemagne is that audio is still superior. Mm -hmm. That's where we make money. YouTube is paying pennies to the view. Talk now about. it takes a lot of money takes a lot to make money on I YouTube. Hate I hate that because YouTube is what people could see. Right. And I, yeah, I fight same, to like, same. I really want to post our audio numbers on my yeah. story. Like I want to leak it because <laughs> but, but no, one, no one knows what those look like. Literally, no, no, our, audio numbers, read our audio numbers yeah, no are popping. I really want to leak it one day and if they, if I do, I, at least I warned you guys. Like literally, I want people <laughs> right, to see right. it because they, YouTube they, does not represent. No, they, yeah, they no, don't no. know how to read. So like even when Weezy and Ak were going at it, like he went straight mm -hmm. to the YouTube to try to clown us and it was like, Nigga, we get a million a month. Calm yeah. down. Mm -hmm. Period. <laughs> um, but, you know, those audio numbers are different. And so I don't know what they're doing differently, but I love everything that Black Effect is doing. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm hoping to stay there with horrible decisions and is that, write it out. Is that what you pulled from Charlemagne? Because you told me what you pulled from Joe. Is it the appreciation for audio? Or if well, no, not, well, what is it? Well, yeah. one of the things that I learned from Charlemagne early on when I was burning out on all of this, mm. it was because I was like, how do you do all this? Antigua. He's, nope. Oh. He said my team. Mm. He Aww. said, I can't do it without a team. He's the person that pushed me to start building a strong team. Like, I love Temp, May, TJ. Like, I have a team now that from one project to the next, I'm going to bring them along. They follow Once them. I find fucking people that really work and really have an act for this and support me and my mm -hmm. vision and believe in me, I don't want to get rid of them. And so as much as he's grown with his team over the years, it's building a team. And that's what I, I, I took that from, Sh from Sharla years ago. Yeah, sure. not being able to do that really does hold you back. That's why I brought up, like, if you're good at delegating, that's just as important as actually knowing how to do the actual work. Hell yeah. 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 Shout out to May, too. I do want to shout out oh, to May. I love May. May, May, May. May. I love she, May. May, May, she, May, she, May. Like, May. May. May is like us. the Quentin Miller of podcasts. Yes. Oh, she's a ghostwriter for sure. She's penning a lot. She's penning a lot. You've been on a meeting with May, and you probably don't even remember. Oh, yeah, you were there. Yeah, we had a whole call. Like, she's a producer, podcast producer in LA. Like, she does a lot. She actually helped me get to HBO. She oh, kind of oh, navigated me on oh, HBO. Like, to man, she's really man. like the Quentin she's Miller this shit. Well, now she's developing and doing Issa Rae Slate with radio. Oh, Ooh. Come on, oh yeah, she, wow. but no. she, she is she is my Quentin Miller. Yeah. <laughs> I brought her on. She, she so helps she's me, mine. She's she, mine. She helps me do period sis, and I brought her on <laughs> to fully do uh, see the thing is, no, wow. that's, that's and, and literally we were just talking about too, like yeah. her appreciation for me. She sent me screenshots of her Excel sheet during the pandemic when I first started. I think 
somehow, and I don't even know how I got away with this. When I started this idea, I was recording virtually. I was paying her $75 a month hmm. to just do like uploads, quick edits. Mm -hmm. So I don't know, maybe $20 an hour for certain things. All right. Maybe she don't get paid that no more for me. <laughs> and and, as, and as, as, as I build and as I grow, yeah. all mm -hmm. the way down to my makeup artist, as I get more money, I'm going to yeah. make sure the budget is there to pay you more. Right. And I've done that with so many people that have worked with me over the years that, yeah, she's not getting paid $75 a month. <laughs> that's wrong. <laughs> Their value of inflation. <laughs> you know? No, well, no, up. value. Long, like, I'm going to keep you yeah. in as you see I'm making money and I'm going on trips and I got, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I'm iced yeah. out, bitch. L let me help you get a little bit too. <laughs> you, <know? laughs> you mentioned Andrew Schultz. I do want to highlight Schultz really quick. Let's the other highlight for Brilliant Idiots. Um, like Schultz, you said, he man. recently just sold out the Madison Garden. Square Garden. Yeah. He's a and fucking had 50 New Yorker. Performing. Come on, Patty. Had 50 Fire. perform. Like, Fire. That's Fire. insane. Like you said. That's where you want to be, right? <laughs> She, she's, 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 she said, said, she said, she said I, I admire 50 a little too much. I, I, actually I was really, like, Mandy. I'm not going to lie. I bought his book. I love him. <laughs> I the love him. Joint? Audio oh, book? No, no, you no. got the audio? <laughs> Nigga. You, you got to do the audio. Nigga, that's fine. But I buy the hardcover because uh, I like to support creators. Me too. Um, yeah, aud audio books don't get them as much. But uh, anything 50 Cent, I buy, I watch, I listen. No. I like... I kiki, I love when he get on social media. I be like, this motherfucker. Yeah, he be fun to everybody. And he lets you know, know matter how rich I am, I could be like this. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> the fact that he is clowning the nigga's son right Bruh. now. Bro, <laughs> he is bombing. Bruh. Yeah. Nah. Like, he don't get, he takes it to hell. All the way. No, no. And I did. love that for him. <laughs> he was so funny. Nah. He's like, ooh, I'm so scared. Like, 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 like the fact that there's a 50 cent <laughs> method of petty, like yeah. when, when, uh, Quavo just had Huncho Day and right. whatever mm -hmm. they showed on the, online, they they acted like Chris Brown bought out all the seats or whatever. <laughs> Him doing that is my is is oh my god! Yeah, like because that's he's like, very witty in a reactive way. I love it, mind you. Do any of us have any of us ever heard a Christian Combs song? No. Yes, so, we have. Shout oh, we the, have. No, we yes, haven't. We have. I have. He has one with Kai Cash. Y'all really like love it. music heads. Y'all oh, she Flea, says, hey, Flea, she asked. Him and Flea put some joint out. Shout my people. Yeah. Them, Wait, he, he nah. nah. Yeah, they put nah. out. Yeah. Say you have. Not yeah. we. That's what he said. Yeah, what asked. No, he said we. Oh, you okay. you were part of we. You speak French, yeah, right? No, 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 no. No, we, I'm telling you, I have not. Nigga, can we we? We 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 nigga. We we. Yeah, like we. Yes, You know what's crazy? He should have done that because he dry snitched on the on the other spot next door. I don't know why he did that. Well, yeah, mean? I don't think that was a good oh, idea. Oh, in the verse he goes, "Yeah, they went up in our crib and the feds raided it, but they know we bought the one next door." I said, "Oh my god!" So you I know was what? Like, what? But, but you know what's crazy about that? <sighs> This is what he sounds like, and this is what you listen to. Don't I do that. Never, never, don't do that. Don't do, don't do that. This is, don't do that. He did say don't this particular that. song was that, bad. That, that nigga, was that like, song. You just voiced him like the bozos that be in the comments. I didn't say that. Nigga, I'm being that, honest. Okay. If I've heard a song from him before, I'm gonna say it. I'm not gonna say this shit is all about it. But it sounded like that. How's it ain't sound like that. Nah, how's oh, okay. shit sound? All right, so my so Pete, so Pete, right? So Pete, right? He did a song with one of my men, and my men and them slid on that. No, but shout out to you. I know he did a song with Tiana Taylor too. She slid. She slid. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But Everyone he, else slides. That, he was on it. <laughs> that nigga be cha cha He was going he was the on, other way. He was on the song. Oh. <laughs> he was on the song. We don't listen for that. <laughs> he is that level of petty. <laughs> where he will take it. He will like generational petty. Yeah. yeah. That nigga go from the great to the pop to the gotta know that. No, I, I love yeah. that. But also, they're yeah. adults. Let's not talk about yeah, yeah, like yeah, he's yeah, going yeah, after sure. children. But for he goes after his own too. So who knows? That nigga diss his own son. Everybody can get it. Everybody can get it. Nah. I love it. Nah, him and Brian. Brian McKnight got a chill. I ain't gonna I lie. Him, 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 him and Brian McKnight him got a Brian chill. Him and Brian McKnight and Boosie. <laughs> yeah, them niggas <laughs> not chill. Listen. Yeah. Them niggas got a chill. What well, Boosie did? Boosie be like, you know, going after his own daughter. I they be about, beefing. I heard about they, uh, they, they wrote So recently there were diss tracks dropped, uh, and I just had this conversation. So um, Boosie dropped a diss track to his daughter. Fab what? dropped a diss track. Oh my goodness gracious. Fab, Fab didn't drop a diss track. It wasn't a diss track. Fab did he drop He had some a... jabs in the song where that... he was talking about. Not a diss okay. track. Okay, sorry, since y'all are so in diss track now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you drop yeah. bars, <laughs> if you drop fucking <laughs> yeah. bars mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that diss somebody, nigga, that's a diss track. Fuck out of here. Oh, now I gotta hear your thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> now I gotta hear your thoughts. What? 
How did you uh, how did you feel about the discourse around Drake and Kendrick or on the uh, rap battle? So because I have a feelings will now, I felt nothing. Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck like, did you just say? Okay, so I go hold you. Here's uh, the thing. Uh huh. Here's the thing. See, the thing is. See, the thing is. <laughs> and I really wanted to use so many of our previous clips, but I wasn't trying to spark up anything while we're in our legal uh, yeah. back and forth. Good decision. Um, yeah. But there was so many takes on Drake over the last three years of Kendrick. I personally am not a fan to Drake, uh, to, to Kendrick. I'm sorry. I literally asked. Where the fuck do y'all niggas listen to him? You want to know. It's not while I'm cleaning. It's not in the car. It's not at the club. When do y'all listen to this Don't nigga? Don't do that, man. You could clean and, and listen uh, to Kendrick. All hip-hop fans listen to Kendrick okay. a lot. You could clean and listen when? to Kendrick. You better be careful. Not in the bedroom. Where are y'all listening to he him? He won a Grammy. That's great. You, just told, me, and, you and, just told me. You just told me awards. No, no, no. You just told me awards. No, no, no. That's what you guess told what? me. Guess but what? every time guess he opened his mouth. I'm just saying what y'all told me. Kendrick is opening his mouth. Somebody got him a Grammy right now. He got a Grammy every time he opened his mouth. Wait, wait, wait. That's hate. And let's be, I, 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 let's be very clear too. Let's be clear. Also want to pull it, sir. Don't give a fuck. I <laughs> personally <laughs> am I'm like, right. where the fuck do y'all listen okay, to this Okay, but what at? about his performance <laughs> during the battle? Let's talk about that. Let's be more specific. So. He yeah. went crazy. My favorite moment of the whole battle. Right. My favorite moment. Because mm -hmm. to me, it was petty. It was calculated. Uh, it was thoughtful. The back-to-back -back drop. Baby. The grams. No. Oh, I know what she's going to say. The Family Matters 12 minutes after. Uh, the, the Meet the Grams 12 minutes after uh -huh. the Family, family matters. matters. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah exactly. The best part of the whole battle. Gotcha. Okay, like, she, you know gotcha. she's no, admitting, you know, you know? Did not allow that nigga to get any scene because let's be very clear. Uh. That song was fired. When family Drake matter, dropped yeah. the, the, the visuals, he did the same shit that everyone was like sucking Kendrick's dick. Oh, he dropped on three different beats. Ah. <laughs> I don't think that motion has no. ever been done on this podcast. Like, so if you want y'all to highlight Let's make it maybe, a gift. Bro. Like, we have never, we've literally never bro, gyrated was, our hands in that motion. They that nigga dick. No, they you know, no, because he's like, ooh, he flipped it. Ooh, it's like three different beats in one. So when... like and he I, stepped all over it. Nah, so, so when Drake came and did the same with some shit that sounded fine for him. So, but here's the other thing. I... Oh, and I'll share this publicly because I want y'all to know I'm double downing on it. Yes. Goes. Alchemist could be whoever the fuck y'all think he is. Uh -oh. He's Mandy. great, right? That little one string fucking piano beat, my, my, my ears hurt it. When I heard that <laughs> shit, I did not like it. Mandy. Not gonna hold you. It's a hip hop battle. Hold Mandy. on. So you ready? Battle, so you ready? Yo, you okay. gotta the have the second reason why Kendrick won me. Because yes, I yo. was one that was like, what the fuck is this is beat? That, I don't yeah. like this beat. So he come... Next with a mustard beat. And now yes. I'm like, See, yes. Uh, it's something for everybody. And, and literally, so mm -hmm. like, we're cool. Maybe you are reading the tweets right. and good strategy. Niggas, niggas want a little beat. Like, nigga, back to back still goes off hard. Like, mm -hmm. okay, I'm hearing it, but I would like to enjoy it. Let me know I'm going to listen to this disc record mm -hmm. outside mm -hmm. of me dissecting, dissecting your lyrics. Yeah. And y'all niggas was dissecting them shits too much. Like, 616 stands for. Oh, you was trying to fuck up. Manny, that's what we do. I'm sorry. She was trying to fuck Yeah, 616, all the motherfuckers stand for. <laughs> All that shit was crazy. Um, <laughs> fuck out of here. Um, but I do like, I like the back and forth. Right. Seeing that this nigga got people showing up at his house now, mm. security cards getting shot. Mm. Like, that's I do, real beef. She yeah, like, that see, that's no, real beef. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. Okay. And so oh, I ain't gonna hold you. I thought that was Let real beef. Baby. You, about, you about to quest love? Baby, it? no. About to, you heard what quest love no, no, said, no, no, right? No, no, no. And. <sighs> Quest love, right? That's your man's too, right? Love Quest. I know. Quest love is Quest. That's her man. Love Great Quest. guy. Love Quest. Yeah. Here's the thing, too. Mm -hmm. Where I recently like got into clearly public beef with not only my ex co host, yeah. but whatever, you know, the third replacement on the on the Breakfast Club. Niggas literally <laughs> thought because I disagreed with shit or I had an opinion on something that it was hands trying to be thrown. And so unfortunately, we're in an era where like the shit that is being said is so fucking disrespectful Facts. that you you literally as a human being, as even someone who live just in a certain hood or a certain de demographic, like, oh, niggas say this type of shit, we fighting, we throwing hands. Mm -hmm. Like, and so to know that niggas really thought I wanted to fight a pregnant woman because I disagreed or called her, you know, I, I, put a label on her that she didn't like 
the labels being put on these niggas now, like, how does that not trigger you to maybe want to send somebody somewhere? And to me, loving just art, I don't want it to ever get there. Mm -hmm. And so seeing, like I said, people popping up at Drake's house, like, niggas is crazy. Y'all are fucking to niggas that don't know (laughs) y'all. You know what I mean? Yeah. But we have these highs, we have these cult-like fans. These parasocial relationships. These parasocial relationships are so fucking dangerous Mm -hmm. that to me, it's not safe for either of them. And I don't think that's fair because there are kids involved. There's Mm -hmm. women involved. Like, I watch First 48 all the time. Bitches be getting clipped just for dating the wrong nigga. So, so, uh, so, (laughs) so Quest Love really is your man. You better shut that shit up, man. I ain't gonna lie. I'm sleeping with that shit up, man. I mean, I mean, I I mean, no, 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 no. Okay. I, no, I'm going to be very honest okay. with you. Okay. I don't like a lot of these niggas' takes. I just was okay. on the phone with Elliot. Like, nigga, you a mean page now? What's going on? Shout out to Elliot. Like, love Elliot. Like, again, I'm cool with all these niggas. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I be like, yeah, nah, disagree with you, nigga. Right. <laughs> and I'll say it publicly, but mm-hmm. love you. Yeah. Like, I don't mm-hmm. care. Like, again, we, we're we all friends. We can disagree, uh, disagree, agree right. on things. Mm-hmm. I don't, like, have to shit say Von say. Like, yeah, you know what I mean? That's the home. Like, I, 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 I'm working with <laughs> Isaac Hayes. I be like, nigga, oh, wow. I don't like nothing you say online. <laughs> like, <laughs> so, but, but but to me, that's you know, yeah, that's yeah. being human. For sure. To me, For I just sure. don't like when people's safety is involved, and I think that that's mm-hmm. where it's getting. See, and it, the fact that it's being compared to Tupac and Biggie, we saw how it ended. So yeah, but I don't see. We that. don't want. Yeah, we don't. See, I, I don't even I see, don't that see that happening. Yeah. I don't see that. Happening. You know why you, you don't from, see it happening? I don't see that happening. Happen. Because there's a biracial corny nigga involved that really is more white. Y'all calling the nigga white now, like he, like. So to me, how you feel about that? I, I don't like it. I fucking hate it because like you, ha- you, well, well, let's be you honest, half and half. Yeah. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. <laughs> thanks. I mean, I I don't like it because <laughs> Drake was of the culture this whole time. Nice. Y'all knew that nigga had a bar mitzvah when he was saying, "I just want to be successful," and y'all mm-hmm. let him. Baby, you my everything. You all I ever wanted. Y'all <laughs> love that nigga, yeah, okay? Yeah. Like, t- 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 but so, you but you can also like agree that, that but you can also agree that you came up on like yeah, black, I, on, on on black films. Like you're familiar with just certain things in black yeah, culture, right? And also, yeah. Spice Girls and In Sync. Sorry no. that I'm diverse no, no, and no, no. have like that's like, the thing. Those experiences. I, I don't think that's what people are angry at, right? I think people are mad that. He, they feel like he's cosplaying the culture because, like you said, his dad is already black. He's from well, Memphis, I, right? I, we, They're saying that, from what they've seen over the years, like, whoa. Wh- I don't are think you it's a to... cosplay. I think okay. that I think that you are a product of your environment, depending okay. on how much time he spent in Houston, Atlanta. We see him more in the states, probably more than that fucking compound he has in 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 Toronto, right? Like this is he's hip hop. He is hip hop. He has dominated for the last fifteen fucking years. He is hip hop. Not one time has he ever been compared to Question. a fucking Macklemore or any or Eminem or any hip hop to who? Any hip hop no, to who? Everybody, nigga, no, to no, everybody. Are you song. kidding me? So, everybody, that nigga I don't, I don't, is hip hop. Everybody, to, let right, me be clear. Here. Like, Thank you. Let me be clear. Not here. the hip hop OG. Thank you, yo. They Even, like, that's why. That's why a nigga like Kendrick Lamar. Doesn't think he's hip hop. What do he say? Keep making me dance with my hands and there won't be no threat. No, that's still bro. A, a but sector you, but, of hip hop. But, but but y'all opinions is still valid though. That that's the thing. Like both what y'all both said is still validated. But to the people that came up on rap rap and then they sent out saying out like, damn, you probably walked away from Pusha. You walked away from the Kendrick beef. No, those people. It's okay like for them to get their shit off. Too. Yeah, I, I can see where they're coming from for sure. I don't think Drake's career takes a hit. I think that. Hip hop right now, if that's your argument, is no better than literally what we deal with with within our own black community. Then, so it's the colorism conversations. Oh, I'm darker than you. My plight is harder. Like for hip hop to be segregated like that, when there's been so many years trying to get the respect of it as a genre, to sit here and now try to, well, you're not lyrical enough for. Oh, you have us dancing. I think that that's just a way to diminish or water down the genre that has been such a prominent thing within our culture as a whole. You're going to make me defend people. See, I'm not trying to defend, see, the, bro. The, the one thing for that I've always said since Damn. the beginning is like, y'all used him up until the point now where you feel like you don't need him. Who is so, y'all? I want you to be specific. Oh, there's niggas, 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 niggas that need him. Even Kendrick. Kendrick. Rick Ross was still Rick Ross. Even Kendrick. I'm no, no, not no, no, saying that. We're not just, just going to talk. Can, you from Florida, I, yo. I, I don't, can I go? Stop, man. Do you know what's crazy about you You from Florida. You know who Rick Ross was before Drake, yo. That's my status. Yeah, and that's fine. But also, but also, one moment. That is actually my side. That that's 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 where I thug tear at the all of this. Mm -hmm. Like, oh yeah, knowing that that, knowing that that Drake did that collab with Twenty One. Went went to the show, saw that her loss, loved it. 
to me, the best duo is Drake and Ross. They go. And so mm-hmm. I wanted them to do a whole album. All the yeah. all the songs they had together, if y'all go into the archive, all it's still up of See the Thing Is, I literally played all their music together and I was like, this is the fucking, this is magic. the mm-hmm. fucking album that I want together is yeah. Ross and Drake. Yeah. So them fucking having BBL competitions right now <laughs> is bothering me because it's like- You jealous? Nah, nigga. Uh, Shout out to the Ozempi pen that they both using and everything. <laughs> like, nigga, I literally am like. Do you think they're playing around a little bit, like a <laughs> little bit? Do you think they're actually like? Yeah, on Ozempic, yes. No, 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 no. I meant like, you know how Drake and Kendrick, I think they're dead ass. But are Rick and uh, uh, Rick Ross and Drake actually beefing? Do you think? I ain't gonna hold you. I don't know. Yeah, I actually. They are. I think here, so. here's my thesis. If we're talking, talking about nigga, conspiracy, white boy. if we're talking about conspiracy <laughs> theories, conspiracy yeah. theories here. Uh huh. I think all these niggas in a group chat and they was mad that the girlies was getting hip hop on. We were literally talking about how I literally the girls. feel like they was like And you be knowing the baddies now, that said, kind of frequent circles. I said they was like, mm-mm, Lotto, sexy, Connie Flo Diamond, Millie. Flo Millie. Uh-uh, these mm-hmm. bitches is doing too much. Let's all come up with some way to get the attention back on us. Really? Like I That's it? I, I'm not gonna. They did a good job then. It's so I feel like, we believe I, that I shit. Like, I feel like they in a group chat. Like, yeah, battle nigga. of the sexist ass nigga. Get yeah. the fuck out of here. Ain't nobody doing that. Yeah. Like, yeah. Ain't nobody niggas standing was around talking nigga, about. You know, nigga, I gotta defeat yeah. Lotto. Yeah. I gotta, like, you nobody's this? doing like. Yeah. Okay, okay. The, the last couple of summers, look at the charts. The ladies was winning. No, no, the, for the, sure. The, the ladies. They the, was. The ladies were winning. Let's be very clear. They weren't selling albums, but they were winning on the charts. Exactly. The ladies were winning, especially in R&B. They were running hip hop. I think for hip hop, I think it was collaborative, which is why you see. You think a Drake. the women were winning R and B? Absolutely, they've been winning R and B for like the last five years. Okay, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I don't think the I the think rappers felt a threat from the women MCs. Maybe from the algorithm. Maybe from right. the engagement on social media. But the records show like the men still sell. Like Travis Scott last year, coming off yeah. the controversy, he still had one of the biggest selling albums last year. Yeah. Lil Uzi, when he drops, he's still like. So I don't. And I, I love that you started with the two men that have probably a majority white audience. No, but regardless, they're moving units. But yeah, no, they of course. Moving, you know what I'm and saying? So they're moving split. units. Yeah, so I mean, I mm. think that like to even lean into the two artists that did sell mm-hmm. phenomenal, you're on a global scale. Right. To me, when we're talking hip hop and we're talking lyrical, a lot of the artists that you would consider like maybe a common or if we go mm-hmm. into like even locks and dip set, mm-hmm. they didn't transcend on a on a no. Pure global scale, mm-hmm. and so when we're talking about hip hop, mm-hmm. and we get into the lyrical ones, or, or, or like the uh, ran into to Benny at at mm-hmm. Dreamville. I'm not familiar with Benny the Butcher's music, but that nigga is every he's every rapper's favorite rapper, right? Right. Mm-hmm. And so if we're gonna talk hip hop, if we're questioning Drake's space in this hip hop scope, and we're leaning into where probably Kendrick is. You don't get to throw in the Uzis and the Travises when mm-hmm. we're talking about where Kendrick is coming from in a space of questioning Drake's validity you, in the space. You want to know what it is, Mandy? I think some people are having an internal awakening, right? I like Drake's music. I, I don't know how many love times like, I love the dance album. Love I love for all the dogs. Like I've been like Drake's music. I think. Oh no, some... I stopped. Like, it's like oh, shit. Okay. Been meant, well, but, yeah. okay. <laughs> I'm, I mean... I'm realizing that a lot of hip hop fans, Savon mentioned, are questioning why exactly they do like Drake, right? Because many of us grew with him as we got older, right? So you naturally like the biggest artist out who's putting out the most hits, right? And as you get older, you start to realize the landscape of other artists. And what they've participated in, right? So maybe they might look at a Kendrick Lamar and be like, man, he, he he's capable of making slaps, but he also tries to speak to to us in a, in a sense. I don't know, I don't know if that means he turns into Malcolm X or anything like that, right? Mm-hmm. But I, I do think that's what's occurring. Cause you're right. Why have people accepted Drake for so long you and know, now it's an issue? It's not accepting. Do you know yeah. do you know how my mm-hmm. analogy to Drake? Mm-hmm. What's up? Drake is Duke University. Mm. Drake is the Lakers. Drake is the Celtics. Drake gotcha. is the Patriots. Drake is the you one that just keeps because he keeps winning. Yeah, because people I went actually to really don't like the winners. Like <laughs> when I say I'm a fucking Duke Blue Devil fan, <laughs> yeah. they like man, fuck. But what oh, you... under the Coach K reign, uh, how many how many championships? Yeah, I remember as a Matt, as an Orlando Magic fan, 
I hated the Lakers because they kept fucking winning. <laughs> yeah. And and even when we were up 3-1 and right. should have won the fucking finals in 2009, <laughs> yeah, she knows. we still fucking lost to the fucking Lakers. We're Sorry. triggering and, her. <laughs> and, and, and even seeing how much yeah. with, with Tom Brady and what he did with the Patriots, right. like Drake is that. But what do you say to Drake, a person like... Niggas the, is mad you, that that nigga is him. Okay, well, let me, let me add to that. What do you say to a person like The Weeknd, right, who was in his camp? It was over your EXO, right? So now I'll start looking out. You would ask, what would, why would The Weeknd be so jealous of Drake? I know they're both from Canada. Um, the Weeknd also sells very well. No, he's, he's, it, it, he's massive. It, he doesn't need Drake to sell. Yeah, but he dressed up like you a mummy. What? I'm not. I get it, but like for those types of people, it does make you kind of question, like, what the fuck is the real beef? I mean, maybe he had you a know? bad binge. We know that you oh, can't shit. do nothing. Party, you, like, party playing with his nigga, nose now. Listen. We can you can't even listen to a full album without being on some type of sort of substance, you know? Yeah. So maybe he was just... <laughs> maybe, maybe that's, that's, maybe maybe that's, that's why I don't sugar. get it. Yeah, no, bro, you got to be on something to listen to yeah. a full... That nigga will have you like... Put a needle in my arm right now, nigga. What the fuck? Maybe that's why I don't get it. Put a needle in my arm nigga, right now. Please, hold the table. <laughs> and then look at your girl. Nigga, and that's what are you really doing? Oh, his music is good. It's so lit. Don't do that. Wow, I did not know he had some weekend haters in. You didn't know this. I did, I did, I did. I don't know why he sounds like that, but House of Balloons did nothing to you back in the day when we came up? House of Balloons? I think, you remember those? Is that, that the I Can't Feel My Face? Yeah, all, all, nah, no, that's before that. That's before that. That's before that. But House of Balloons, it was a Original. Yeah. We hadn't, sure. we hadn't heard, we that. hadn't heard that. We hadn't Got heard you. that. We was like, that who sound. is this dude? That sound, and then going right. back to even like the Kendrick and Drake thing, why I don't think it's comparable to Big and Pac is because Kendrick is so mysterious. Like we still have not seen Kendrick. Yeah, y'all know that, right? We've Super heard the impressive. songs. He's not tweeting. He, Super we impressive. haven't outside. We haven't them. seen this nigga. No, we haven't. Even at all. though he dropped a club banger, he's not outside. Like this nigga so, got three Billboard hits out of this shit. We ain't yeah, seen and that's why I mean this is this is complicated for me because. He was always number three of the big three. To who? Kendrick? Uh, to who? To me. Wait, Kendrick? Oh, to you. Right. I, I mean, unless you want to You're a dream the, villain. I, I and am. Yeah, so, bias yeah. here. Okay. But also... Um, Is it also a biracial bias? Well, it's not... <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of bias. Oh, biracial bias and a bisexual. Okay. Is that also... Um, so a triple entendre. And a bisexual. Hello. That's a triple entendre. Give me all the bias. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> uh, um, you, know, you know what's crazy? It's not that at yeah. all. Uh -huh. um, but when I look at A, the numbers, the output, yeah. we have four albums from Kendrick. We have... So many more. Drake has dropped every goddamn eight Genre. months. Genre. Every other you quarter. Know, every, <laughs> every other quarter. quarter dropping. And yeah. then and then I think when I look at the numbers, even though, yeah, Cole isn't the one maybe that you're going to hear in the club as much, um, to see what they both been able to do for their own respective communities. Like, mm -hmm. they have fucking gotcha. festivals. There's mm -hmm. not many artists that can have their own festivals. Dreamville just had their third... Yeah, their third their third Dreamville OVO Fest. Mm -hmm. Niggas talk about it like it's Carabana. Mm -hmm. So like, and and so the money that they're bringing back into their communities, yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure Kendrick is doing it as well, but Kendrick doesn't have a, a festival. I don't see Kendrick because he doesn't release as much. He's not touring out like, He's just the Wait, only one they all but, scared of. Which I don't think they're scared of him. Definitely like, scared. Like no, I think oh, they they're, can, they're no, 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 no. I don't Maybe. think they're scared of him. I think that J Cole was scared. J Cole was scared. You was in the building that night. I was like, well, you ain't smell a no, fear. No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> you ain't smell a fear so on that stage. That's, that's the thing. Drake, Drake was there at Dreamville. Uh -huh. okay. Drake had his whole compound because I tried to get some fucking jerk chicken, and they was like, we gotta feed Drake's compound first. Drake was there. Drake was supposed to go on stage. I think. Something After switched he said up. that shit, he said, I ain't going up well, there. Yeah, no, I, I, like Cole didn't want to make this, which is his thing, about the beef. And of course, you know, I'm sure they wanted to perform still first person shooter, all those things. However- So Drake canceled his performance. Uh, Drake left 30 minutes before Cole went on stage. Oh, Drake was there. This is even before he said what he said on so stage. So he knew what Cole was about to do? He was like, uh, yeah, I'm out? Yeah, I think okay, Cole right. was like, you not finna come up here. Let's not do that. Maybe he tried. I don't know because I wasn't. I, I don't know. All I know is Drake was there all day. Got you. Had his compound like he did last year because he headlined last year with uh, Usher. Right. And um, I saw both of them on tour. I'm sure they're still cool. All I know, and again, I don't know either of them personally. I'm just a huge Dreamville like supporter stan. Yeah. And I know because I was in the artist compound that he was there. Got you. He left beforehand. And I don't know. I don't think Cole is scared. Though. I think Cole is very smart. Cole, like you said, we ain't seen Kendrick. We don't know a lot about Cole's personal life. 
if knowing that it was going to be taken to this low, so mentioning their kids and his wife, and then let's be very, let's be very clear. I think that that would make you. Scared. I think that Cole <laughs> is. Lyri- to hell. I think Cole is lyrically better than everybody, and so to me, he's he's it. proven that. He literally says, "I'm gonna hop on your shit and kill you on it, and you gonna know I'm gonna kill you." And everyone says, "I killed you on your record," but y'all accept it now. He is the best. I'm just and saying lyrically, and so uh, to me, I think you can't call yourself the best if you don't want. No, it. no. Regardless, regardless of what can come from it, you cannot no, be the best the if you want to do it. I think that there is put out the best. Dish. But I think that there is a genuine mm-hmm. relationship mm-hmm. with him and Kendrick. I agree, and I think that the beef was really Kendrick and Drake. Yeah, it wasn't Cole. Yeah, and so because Cole was cool with both of these niggas, mm. and both of them was like. Nah, we both really fucking hate each other. That nigga was like, let me bow out of this because however y'all start shooting these things, I don't need to be in the crossfire of it because this actually isn't my battle. I like a good uh, lyrical jazz and sparring. I like you know what I, mean? I don't want to fight. But he's yeah, like, I, like I, don't fight. Best, I want to be the best I like to practice. And, I want to be the best and, sparrer and, and, in the boxing and, and gym. Let's be very clear, I like to practice. In hindsight, where everyone <laughs> yeah. got on that nigga, everyone since has been like, Cole made the right decision. No, for sure. Yeah, he's chilling but, on the beach right are, now. Those are two it different is. things. Those are two different things. Him being on the beach and him being considered can't number one now, you can't. Can't call uh, yourself I, the best. Actually, we, I, I had him at two. I put Drake at number one because can't call yourself the Drake, best. Drake, Drake, it, Drake to me, I'm sorry, number one. And what's crazy is... Still? What's crazy is... Still, as a rapper? As a rapper? What's crazy is... When that nigga drop whatever summer banger he about to, y'all niggas gonna be in there motherfucking sauce. But those are two separate over. points, man. I always have my yeah, OBO. Okay. We're talking those about the two beef separate like points. Right I'm talking about I when mean, it comes okay. bar for bar, who is the best it, rapper? It, because niggas, you've been calling yourself Muhammad Ali. You keep saying you number one. There's a nigga over there that's been like, yo, I feel like I'm better than both of y'all, and I'm really to take it to place now. So, that, yeah. so that's the thing, you're complaining. Who's, yeah. Who is the winner of the beef does not mean that they. Get the number one position for best artist if we're talking I didn't say about. Artists, I said rapper. Right, no, no, no. But even two but different even things. Rapper, no, it's two different things. I, l- l- let's be let's be clear. Pulitzer Prize, everything that Kendrick is a rapper. Right. Drake is a star. Yes. He sings. He yes. Kendrick he has is melodies. a star too. Kendrick is a star okay. too. You know that. He's a rap star. Every time a rap he star opens, is a star. I'm Bro, sorry. Drake is a rap star. Every time yeah. um, Drake is a pop star. Every time Drake is a star. So you move the goalposts. But listen, I salute it. <laughs> when he opens his mouth, hand him a Grammy. You can't do it over there now. <laughs> That's a star. Kendrick is opening his mouth. Well, I'm, like, I'm glad when he. Uh, no, no. It, but I'm glad does. we're getting so, back to like the Drake. Yeah. The Drake hits because it's officially over because he posted on his story. Fun times, summer up next. That means we're getting back to the dance yeah, hall. Yeah, that's what the I'm saying. Tu- Please, no, no like, I don't want dance hall from Drake. I don't I think, want dance hall from Drake. You don't want dance hall? No, I'll that's take when it. he's at his best. No, I want the like, <laughs> yeah. hell yeah, fucking right, fucking right, all right. Like, no, I want it's summertime, uh, Mandy. I want, I'll even do God's plan. Like, <laughs> nah, this ain't a God's plan. No, summer. it's summertime, no, Mandy. Come on. The shit that you, no, 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 Mandy. The shit that she played in the beginning of the pod. That's the type of vibes we want from Drake right now. No, no, no. I don't need him to culturally appropriate. No, get on the song. I don't. I don't need him to. Have a fucking Brother, accent, it? but that's, 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 that's what y'all do. Me. What? That's what y'all do. Who's y'all? Colonize. Don't do that. Don't oh, do that. Oh, 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 bro, we not gonna do that. You're running to shit. Atlanta when you need a check balance. <laughs> that, that's crazy. You're running to Atlanta when you need a check balance. <laughs> like, come on. Now, nah, because back to that, I really do think like it's clear. We Drake is the best artist. I think right. with this now, uh-huh. though, with after the rap battle, we, we might have to put Kendrick at one for rap. When you start talking that's about okay. that's okay. He okay. literally beat Drake that's okay. in, a, in a, like a rap, rap beef. battle. Like, you, you he, did. He, he okay, really so you did. know what this reminds me What's of, up? too? What's up? When you know when you see stat lineups, right? Yeah. And you have the leading scorer, assists, rebounds, mm-hmm. and the turnovers at the bottom. Yeah. You know, there's some throwaways there. Like, if you're going to just say, okay, so who's the best rapper? Like who's the best scorer? That's the scorer. Right. If we go into like the best overall in the top three, that's rebound. That's another category because For sure. I'm including catalog. I'm including what they're doing. And I'm not mad with, at that. Like outside of them hopping on a beat lyrically, like even 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 beat selection wise, mm-hmm. team wise, influence wise. Mm-hmm. I think when we talk about the big three. That's what we're talking about for for each of their spaces or their places in hip hop over the last all of them, I would say, fifteen years, right? Because yeah. I've I've been a fan of Cole since '09. At his concert, standing in line, twenty dollars at Revolution. Oh, so you had a for, dollar? Oh, I was a dollar in Dream <laughs> shows. Okay, Same. like I am, yeah. I'm a I'm a huge yeah. like 
full stand where niggas is like, why this nigga talking about college so much? Like, <laughs> nah, that's the I one. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> I like that nigga. I like that's that shit. Everybody fell in love with Cole, You know, though. I fucking love Cole. <laughs> that shit used to get I, my homie so mad. I like, love damn, when shit. did he pay off his loans? <laughs> nigga, it took him a while to have nah, shit Nah, that nigga's heavy weight. I was St. John's, nigga, that shit ain't cheap. Yeah. So, nah, but like, so so to me, if, okay, we go best rapper, sure, give it, to, give it to Kendrick. That's fair. That's, that's fine. Fair. That's fair. Look at I, us. I agree. Look at us. Look, 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 look at yeah. us. Look at us. Look at us. Wow. Wow. Who would have thought? Wow. <laughs> Who would have thought? I mean, they're not, they're not like how they say on the internet about you, fam. Yo, don't do that. Shut <laughs> the fuck up. No, shut the fuck up. No, no yo, literally. No, a, before we start recording, I was like, I don't know. I like her. So. <laughs> <laughs> nah, twin. They be going like, crazy on the super, net. She's super nice. Yo, like, <laughs> nah. yo, we don't party on a bit so the NTK mixers. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. you're going to go to the next one. When's the next one, one nigga? One. Yeah, it's coming. Be, to, to, to be announced soon. Okay. Yeah. It's he coming. Almost, it's coming. He almost yeah. announced yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> to be announced really soon. Hopefully, I'm in mixer. town. You know, I'll be traveling. Nah, nah yeah, for sure. We're going to tell you that bitch. Thank you. Thank you for pulling up. Thank you for showing all the support that you do. I literally landed and pulled up. No, I, wow. I came from That's the airport, the, the last one y'all had in Brooklyn. Right yeah. Oh, the yes, you did. Yeah, 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 I came from the airport. She, she came, and, and yeah. that's one of the things about Mandy. Like, I can say she does support. Whenever I have a yep. question about our infrastructure, our podcast, I'm like, yo, Mandy, how do we do this? What do we do? Like, even from the ads. Mandy oh, has yeah. tickets I purchase. I don't need to. Don't I'm not, yeah, for the mixer. She, she purchases for the tickets. I'll be like, yo, Mandy, I can put you on the guest list. She's like, no. No. Not only does she support, she's the first. Yes. She be one of the first people to purchase tickets. Tickets. Well, I can make it or not. Hopefully, I'm in town. Yeah, <laughs> that's brutal. So that's that's right. Right. We salute that. I know there's a we lot of people who, who have their thoughts and opinions on you uh, for whatever the reason is. Like when it comes to real life shit, like real people shit, like you're you're Very you're one of I one people. in this Thank space. You. you know what I'm saying? Like Thank you. in in this space, you got to be cutthroat. You got to be all these things that they try to associate associate you with. Yeah. And I don't think I think it's just real. I think you're figuring it out in real time. I think the reason people connect with you, like going back to Reggie's intro why you have built such a strong following is because you give so much of yourself and we have a mutual friend shout out to Antoinette y'all yes. are very very close y'all are very very different and so different the way that y'all even oh Antoinette was on the Jasmine Sullivan album right she was it was Antoinette's tell hello yeah. shout out what? to Antoinette yeah. that's crazy that's her best friend hello. yeah that's Aww, Jasmine's that's best beautiful. friend but shout out to Antoinette and, I got bumped the album tonight and getting to Off know her and knowing you and seeing how you show up for her and emotionally the development that you do, like a lot of people, they don't want to reflect. A lot of right. times people don't like criticism. I think you wear it as a badge of honor. I think you're a pioneer in this space, especially for women, for black women, uh, biracial women. You take <laughs> yeah, everything. All right, all right. No, we got to show love. <laughs> not, the, not the mulattoes. <laughs> Charles, <you're all> the... <laughs> Jesus. But, but, but no, like I, I have yeah. a lot of homegirls. I got a lot of uh, people who are fans of you. Mm -hmm. right. And Same. just yeah. the fact that I know you a lot of is an honor because they're like, oh my God, she's gotten me through this. She's helped me navigate this. Even your health journey, right? Yes, we don't even I talk about that a lot. Like mm -hmm. even your health, you took that serious and what is done for your career, your confidence, everything. Like nah, I, I had do... way more niggas when I was a big bitch, but okay. <laughs> yo, yo. <laughs> way more niggas. Yo. Yo. But, but yeah, just, just how you put everything on Front Street is Possibly. admirable. Thank Even you. in this studio space, like yeah. you provided a home for us each Literally. and every Tuesday. We know where we're going to be. Yeah. I want to also salute you for the location. We ain't got to struggle for parking no more. Oh, yeah, nah. I love that. Yeah, we got spots over here. Oh, wait, because it was, yeah. yeah like, we got we, spots we over have a mate, like just everything. I do want to give because y'all record so goddamn late. Yeah. Ain't nobody over here. Yeah. <laughs> they have to now, drive over here. Now, 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 during the day when the school is open, it's, it's rough, active. but y'all, y'all, yeah. y'all in the tough, clear. So yeah. I do, I do want to give you your flowers in that Thank space. Thank you. Um, For sure. Because you, you've been a real friend in this space. And like, yep. I think the reason I haven't really pushed for you to be on the pod is because it's like, yo, this is really my nigga. Yeah. <laughs> this is really my man for real. So yeah. I do want to thank you for yeah, taking the time. Yeah, let me just have Joe on three times and Elliot and everyone else ish. <laughs> but we have to dress it up for you. Let me not, let me not invite nah, my friend. We have to dress it up. We weren't ready for you yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, yeah. to, to me, I just, I, I love that we were just able to even geek over yeah. hip hop podcasting in the beginning. And I mean, I hope, again, like people don't, think that this conversation wasn't all supposed to be at all uh, defamatory to anyone oh. else. Like yeah. like I said, I I do. I, I wish things ended differently and I want nothing but success for that. I love that you've been a part of so many of my journeys. Yeah. I, like I've yeah. talked to you even when I was doing horrible and yeah. bounced things off. And so for you to be a part of See The Thing Is and for us to now win a Webby together Sorry. with Can't Aww. Afford Therapy and 
like really wanting to just grow and figure out again there's no blueprint to this thing there so we're all tr we're all trying to figure it out mm -hmm. i'm really not any more right than anyone nah. else the same way i don't think charlemagne has any different answers than joe or andrew and mm -hmm. i think it's great that i can just kind of peer and 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 have this relationship with everyone that i can kind of take bits and pieces from i salute people in this space that are willing to go all the way for their content uh before you cut out of here the the first time i was introduced to you on a podcast oh boy this was years ago oh boy there was a therapist on there. Oh, yeah. And yeah. it fucked me up, right? Because at the time, I'm getting more familiar with podcasting. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So I'm not really realizing how <laughs> crazy you could get with it or what you can try. Was right? this a horrible or? This is a horrible okay, decision. Okay, okay. Working out the kinks. Work I believe it's episode 55. Episode 50. And I, I want to salute the both of y'all. We're now in episode 360 something. I got to salute the both of y'all for even wanting to be like, you know what? Let's show up for our listeners. Let's show up for the podcast, right? And find ways to try and make this work. Even if it means like us being super vulnerable and transparent with the people that listen to us on a week to week basis, I, mean, I, I, I think it's unfortunate. That. I know everyone wants us to be like besties yeah, and yeah. hang out all the time, but it's like it's life. I mean, what we've cult like cultivated in our cult like following with the whore hive, seeing how we've impacted so many people's lives. Like anytime I get to where I'm like fuck this shit, I always like this is so much bigger than whatever we're arguing right. about right. and. Mm -hmm. To be clear, I've bartended, I've worked in retail, I came from corporate America. Do you know how many niggas I worked with that I ain't really like or that I didn't agree with or mm -hmm. that we may not have had, and we may have had a misunderstanding and now I gotta come in and whether HR is involved or not, we gotta sit here and figure this out and continue working together on the next fucking project. Right. Like, so when people are like, oh my God, I don't know how y'all work together. I don't know how some of y'all show up to your job every week. There's a lot of people there that that's a good point. You wouldn't hang <laughs> out with point. outside of work. Yeah. And so to me, for what horrible decisions means in the grand scheme of things, like we're we're writing a fucking book right now. Like we have a book deal. Wow. So like the the grand Congrats. scheme of thank you, <laughs> thank you. Crazy. It'll yeah. be out next year. Shout out to yeah. Black Privilege Publishing against uh, Charlemagne. Charlotte brought Damn. us over to Simon and Schuster. Oh, come um, on. Come so on. We'll, we'll be releasing a book next year. But it's amazing. to me, you have to look at the bigger picture. Sometimes it's people just being able to pay their bills. That's why they stay at the job they're at. Yeah. For me, it's it's way beyond paying my bills. It's like we're we're impacting and changing lives and the way that women view sex and partnership and relationships and themselves. Yeah. So it's, I mean, whether we'll ever be friends or not, I don't know, mm -hmm. you know, probably not, but we've definitely grown a brand that we are both very proud of and that we both garnered a lot of respect for each other because not only have we built that, we've both done so much outside of mm -hmm. horrible decisions now. Yeah. So now there's a respect level of bitch, we're doing great together and we can do great outside of each other. But now this is something that is bigger than both of us. Mm -hmm. And we just have to acknowledge that. That has to be saluted. Mm. Yeah. That has to be. That's a lot beautiful. of people just let it crumble. I salute the both of y'all. You yeah. give me like the mission in mind. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh it's, Throughout it's, all this. it's way bigger than us. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. and that's what that brand. That's part of the gig. That, that's what that brand has, yeah. has done for me. Right. And that's where like period sis is going to like. Transcend that. That to me is what I'm building as my legacy. And could I think. You, could you quickly break down Period Sis too? Mm -hmm. um, so Period Sis, I started during the pandemic. Right. Period Sis, I'm interviewing. It's one on one. And I sit with women and they share their stories, their journeys, kind of chronological from their first period to whether they're battling PCOS, infertility. It's all the health fucking nonsense that women have to deal with. Right. And to me, um, that means the most to me because I feel like without that, brand i don't have my best friend here today so during the pandemic i started that brand with official box owner i did a subscription box and i'm hearing all these fucking traumatic ass stories yeah and my best friend calls me and she's like yeah I have this sharp pain i don't know what the fuck right. i was like all right well uh so i'm not gonna be your friend until you go get checked because i'm hearing all these crazy things and when you go you need to Ask for a second opinion if because something's not right don't let them say something's not right you're saying there's something wrong something's wrong and literally during the pandemic, she, she'll she say it to this day. She only went because I was like, bitch, I ain't going to be your friend no more. I won't answer your calls until you go get checked. And she was diagnosed with stage two breast cancer. And she ended up going through aggressive chemo, beat breast cancer. But literally, I don't think she's here today if just that conversation and my experience with hearing all these other women. The way that it all played out. Yeah, yeah. Like, I literally feel like this is the reason my best friend is here today. Like, right. and so bringing it back after see the thing is, which it was coming back 
well before See The Thing Is chose to end. Mm -hmm. I was already putting things in motion. Like, so when people saw me drop it and they were like, oh, you say you're so busy. That was in motion for months. Like, yeah. you don't just drop a podcast. I, I had a trailer. I was planning mm -hmm. out like segments. I was getting a team involved. Like, mm -hmm. and so to me, it's my legacy. It's what I hope saves more lives. Yeah. There's a um, sense of uh, service in podcasting yeah. that doesn't really get spoken about, mm -hmm. right? Just what mm -hmm. a listener can relate to and how we can impact and change their life. It's not a very relate intimate to, relationship. Yeah. No. That. Right. They listen to y'all, which y'all long ass episodes. I'm still here. <laughs> they, li they listen to y'all <laughs> yeah. more than they listen to their favorite artists. Mm, yeah. How often Weekly. do we? Like, Every true. week. Like, mm. if y'all drop, like, you become a part of someone's schedule. Like, yeah. the way I talk about how I brush my teeth in the morning. Yeah is how you're integrated into someone's fucking weekly schedule. Mm -hmm. They listen to you. Whether their day is going shitty or not, it might just bring some sorts of some sense of normalcy yeah. to mm -hmm. their lives that y'all drop when y'all say y'all gonna drop. And now they can listen and tune in and feel like they're involved in this conversation. Yeah. Right. And so whether it's meaningful or not, because we're talking current events, hip hop, you know, beef, current events. Mm -hmm how you affect someone's life in that sense, you can sometimes take them away from, you know, the, the, the death that they just are, yeah. are dealing mm -hmm. with. Their cheating ass fucking spouse or their kids that are getting on their fucking nerves mm -hmm. or the boss that keeps nagging them. Yeah. They're going to put in the headphones Definitely. and you, you, you bring something to, you bring joy. Yeah. You're yeah. bringing a joy to them, to, to people's lives. And that's why I think podcasting is, is, phenomenal, sensational, and why I want to continue being a part of it. Super because important. it literally is a joy Same. to people's lives. Same. Yeah, that's my favorite type of feedback or comments that we get. There was literally a girl on my birthday, she replied to my, a listener, she replied to my story. She was like, hey, I don't mean to randomly write you like this long paragraph, but Need to Know has got me through so much. Mm -hmm. Like, when I was going through a hard time, like, you guys are so consistent. You guys never miss a drop. And I was just like, oh. It's important. Like, and, and that's important. why being on time is important. Yeah, yeah, yeah like sure. that's what y'all do. Like you know what I mean. Uh -huh. Being on time. Yeah, play by the time. Listen, listen. That's like the night time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 sentimental moment, Mandy. Yeah. 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 But, but literally, that's what y'all yeah. do. Yeah. There, there's joy in niggas being on time. Yeah, absolutely. She's like, no, back up. She's like, no, no, no. There's joy. She's like, no, no, no. Like that. No, thank you for pulling up, Mandy. We appreciate it. What a good ending. We oh, thank great. you. We definitely this gotta was, make sure we do it again. Yeah. This was fun. I can't wait yeah. to see what you did. Great. Out. You yeah. did amazing. And no, we, uh, it might be a few bleeps. It might be a few bleeps. Just a few. Uh, <laughs> but, but, but no, it is to, to come out again. Yeah, thank yeah. you. We appreciate your time. We appreciate all that you contribute to the space. Real, real, thank uh, you. Thank you for just being a real one, man. Like it, it, that's as easy as it. That's as simple as I can say it. Thank that's you. Thank you for being a real one. If you made it this far on the podcast, there's no reason that you shouldn't be subscribed. That you haven't liked. That you haven't comment. I know a ton of y'all are probably here for me. Andy B, but we hope y'all stick around. We appreciate y'all too. It's the Need to Know they, Podcast. They have a save on Alex and Red. You feel me? <laughs> it's what you need to know, when you need to know, on the Need to Know Podcast. And we will be back again next week, y'all. And Peace. if this wasn't enough, y'all make sure y'all subscribe to their Patreon. Let's Dang. do it.